Good morning. Good morning, Chair and fellow. Mam Sengwa, so born am I long and son Peggy's. Um, Angamboni, a Ubano Muni in Agambon. Mam Ohara, Commissioner Ohara, Nyakwana. Morning, Sladoam. How are you, our veteran? I'm fine, Kunjani Slado. Yamila. I see uh, Commissioner Dr. Tlaleng, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dr. Tlaleng. Uh, I see Lung El Son Peggy Le Mama Sondo. Uh, Mama Sondo. Yapila and Jancha Pessin. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, other members, Nelly Swa. Oh, I know Umam Kaula is struggling with the connection. I will check Umemba Mkweba go to Kwenzagani. Oh, but check. Uma Siko has joined, but uh, 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 I know Uguti, uh, she's got two meetings. Um, she'll be in and out. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, our whip. Uba nufute mwenye nga kulu minaye. Uste, honorable songo. Oh, Kona. All right. Agu Shembu Malanga. I think. Mama Sut Loba at the long Mona, you were safe to stay. We are Oh, okay. Okay. Nyabonga. Unchan. Akulu Slan. Nyabong. Ubano Mun. Engambun. I was Commissioner Sidiko, Commissioner Bosa, and Babo in the Are they present? Slalo, uh, we will we will call and send messages and find out if they are not struggling with connection. <laughs> Oh, you are muted. Unmute your mic. Can you hear me, Slalo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, Slalo. Morning, Baba. Babu Pota Unjani. Tapi Labunjani ma. Yeah, Pil. 
Upande na kamboni. Eh, okay. Eh, Nelisa, ama members ange nili. Are you trying to start? Okay. Um, no chair, not yet. Uh, Mkweba is also having problem with the connection. I'm trying to call Umaluleka right now to check what's happening with her. I'll come back to you. Okay. So, Salinde, you member Ukaula, no Mkweba, no Maluleka. That's all. Okay. Um, let them look in. Yeah, but uh, Orlando and Shala Konakban, hey, it's very cold, eh? It's very cold. Very, very cold. I'm a tamba, I'm a tamba. Yo! I try to support it. Yo, I'm a ginger, a galig. I'm a turmeric gong. Gong, you know? Yeah. Yo, I'm a tatlale ngang kotolis. <laughs> I have a bit of one, so <laughs> yo, yes, it's me. Nansa mama Gaza, yo, 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 yo. Ah, Commissioner Sitiko, good morning. Good, good morning, Chairperson. How are you? How are you? I'm okay. Good morning, colleagues. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's no longer morning, afternoon. It's up after two. Okay. Oh yes, and and well, right. Yes, it's so afternoon. It's after it's uh, seven minutes past twelve. Let's wait for the few members who are still logging in. Uh, Nelisa will after ask. After is not our language. Yeah? After all, is not our language. Tina just saw born the whole day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 it's so true, ma. Yeah. Get to Saubon or Saubon? Saubon or Saubon the whole day, Saubon. <laughs> so we are short of Honorable Mkweba, Honorable. Or Bazos Chola Pambi, we can start our meeting. Kashifa? Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Yes, yes, I think we can start. Uh, the agenda is only ECGE today. There's no other uh, other matter, uh, and um, I, 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 I think uh, what I requested to Uneli so Oguchi, she must request from ECGE. Uh, hopefully, uh, all those documents are here. Uh, but according to what I'm having, I'm looking at my iPad now. I don't see. Um, I see one document which is written role of commissioners, strategic plan, and APP. It, I don't see deployment of commissioners. Nelisa. Hello, Chair. I don't see, I see Honorable Mkweba is in, in already. Uh, I don't see deployment of commissioners. I just see one document. Uh, Chair, I've sent, all the, I've, I've sent all the documents that were sent to me. Um, what I received is this on one document that talks about the role of Commissioner's Strategic Plan and APP. That's what I'm having with me. Check what you have sent to me, please. Uh, I'm checking, Chair. In fact, uh, this document was not sent by you to me. It was sent by Kashifa. That's what I'm seeing in my emails. 
please send me the right all all all, all the documents. Good morning, honourable members, uh, 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 honourable commissioners. Um, uh, I welcome you on. Um, I, I thank you very much for for coming for today for today's meeting, and uh, hopefully uh, we are going to have a fruitful meeting. Um, and even honourable members are going to engage in valuable discussions and you are going to have a way forward that is going to assist all of us and that will take ECG forward. Um, if you remember, honourable members, uh, first of all, uh, let me start by... Sending our condolences to Ifemelika Mamotora, one of our MPs uh, who passed on last week when after our, our sitting on Wednesday. It was on Wednesday, I think it was on Wednesday. That honorable member was in the sitting during the day. And uh, when we woke up the following day, we learned that uh, she has passed on. And you know that day, uh, the, 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 the media was all over here that day. It was like she was saying goodbye to us. Um, you know, things of God uh, are known by God only. You know, sometimes you can say, I'm healthy, there's nothing wrong with me. And then tomorrow uh, you'll wake up with other news, you know, sad news that uh, something has happened because... Even Honorable Dora was not sick, was healthy like us. And then uh, the following day, something happened. Uh, she was she was no more. Uh, it was a, a sad day for us as uh, members of the ANC. And uh, may her soul rest in peace. Yeah, and uh, today, uh, I, when I woke up, I received a, a, a disturbing message whereby there's one young woman, and I've tried, I think, uh, to send to our honorable members and some of your uh, of the commissioners to say uh, there's yeah, this one young woman who's beaten badly by the boyfriend. I don't know whether it's a boyfriend or is a fiance or what, but is, she's beaten badly. And you know, in what 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 is shocking is that uh, she's got a, a, a Yes. Yeah, all over her face. But you know, uh, she's got yeah bruises all over her face. And but she is the one who's saying, no, I don't want uh, 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 this man to be arrested because I know why am I betting. And uh, you know, I was asking myself a question. Even if she knows whatever things that uh, maybe made this man to be angry. Does that make that man to beat her or to kill her? Does that man have a right to beat her? Not to kill her. Because first of all, that, that woman is not a child. And then it's like that man is treating that woman like what? But also, you know, when you hear a woman telling you that, uh, no, I don't want him to be e e e e e e to be arrested, e e e e. it's fine. He, I know what makes him to beat me. Yeah, tell her that thing. Our society, there's something wrong with, in our society. Something is not right at all. And I don't think... Person. China, we must... Hello? Chairperson. Yeah, Chairperson, I hope you are not suggesting that it's okay to beat up a child. No, I'm not. I'm saying the yeah, way... Because, 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 Chairperson, more often than not, when we violate children at home, we call it uh, you are chastising. In fact, when women are beaten, we call it domestic violence. So for me, we, we really have to be very clear that no violence to anybody, whether Uti... Um, I'm just disturbed that 
we should never conflate the two that no one, whether in Ganyaku, there's no violence. Chapter no, here. not at all. Violence is not allowed at all. That one is clear to everyone, everybody, even myself, Abba I, I don't beat them at home. They know what I sit them down. And but I'm very strict with my children. Lapo make no mistake. No, none of them has voted for me. I'm their mother, Finnish and Clark. So a person, a child is a child, and I, 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 my, they will abide by my orders. So there's no child that has got a, a right to tell me what they didn't vote for me. So uh, uh, we we are discouraging any any violence, whether a child is wrong or what. But Tina, be shy, we are not. But both of us now be shy. And uh, which was wrong? Which was wrong? Yeah. And and then Tina uh, Besishaiwa got to get back up soon. Got to escalate the scene and the CEO. But the man to an any manje we know what he if if violence no good. The man to an abashaiwe agvumelegi le wongu mundu agwazlo. But also the second one that was shocking. It's when I saw another video of 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 the other one is a teenager. I think he's she's um. That girl, when you look at that video, she's around 13 or 14. And then the two boys, I think they're around 9, 10, 11. You know that video? I'm telling you, we have a serious challenge. Those kids are having sex. You know, those, I think they watch uh, 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 these uh, 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 pornography things, and then uh, uh, now they are experimenting. So it's two boys. The other one is at, at the back. The other one is on the other side. And then the girl is in the middle of the two boys. You know, I watched that video. I think I sent to some of the commissioners. Those of you that uh, 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 I've sent to, you can uh, show the other commissioners. You know, I'm worried. That uh, what I, 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 I've seen in the morning, it just shocked me. That, you know, as parents, we take our children as children. And uh, sometimes for those of, uh, of, 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 of us whose children are having um, bedrooms or blah, 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 we don't even go sometimes to check them in their bedrooms. What is it that they are doing? We take it. You don't even suspect what they can do a, a, a nasty things. You you take it, Uti, no, they are innocent. But from the video that I saw today in this morning, I was shocked. So that tells you that, you know, as parents, we need to check our children every day. We need to check our children, sit down with our children, try to talk to them and check. In fact, you know, here in my house, I, uh, the older uh, uh, the older ones, they all they have put a pin code for some of the channels for the my 14 year old one. At first, I thought, hi, why are you denying him to watch certain channels? And then the elder ones, they said, hi, mama, it's because you don't watch television, you don't know what is happening. Then I said, what is happening? Then they showed me. Then I said, ah, yeah, right. Put that pin code. He must not watch it, you know. And 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 I've learned that day because I was shown by them. And at first, as a as a mother, I felt that I they're denying the small one to watch a, a, a certain channels. But after these ones, they taught me and showed me good to what is happening in those channels. I said, ah, you know. And 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 I became scared. But also, you know, our children are exposed to these gadgets and to internet. So we don't have control over their gadgets. On what are they watching on internet? We don't have control. And we don't even know whether they are still doing their school things or they're doing what. Eh, 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 we're not checking all those things. So that's where I saw that there's a gap and there's danger. So some our our children, they, our children, they become sexually active at a very young age because they they look at these things. You know, somebody was talking about visual sex the other day, and I didn't understand what is this person talking about. But after I, I, I seeing what I saw today in the morning, I said, yo, 
our society is in trouble. Whether the fourth industrial revolution is coming with good results or whether it's going to do what, I'm no longer sure. But, but I'm just raising this as my opening remarks that you know what, all of us, I think we must know, Kuti, there's a challenge. There are many things that are happening outside. So as 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 as, as we we do our work being busy every day, sometimes we don't find time even to check our children. Which is, what are you watching? We are busy. We are busy. We are busy. We are busy. We We don't usually check even the messages that they send to each other. You know, we take it with I, I, their children, they don't send these funny messages. They are talking about school things, but oh, oh, oh. hey, even me something good. Um, you know what? I think uh, uh, we are ignorant. And our society needs a leadership. And I think uh, even yourselves, um, uh, when you do uh, your work, you must also look at other things uh, 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 when coming to uh, 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 all these things that are happening now. Because I can see good. Uh, uh, and you know, in the morning, I was even saying, hey, Umshaba, we are pillar of what? Maybe Jesus must come or what? I don't know. You know, I was feeling like that. But you know, because when look look at these things, this is too much. Yeah. So um, uh, th th this this is what I wanted to share with you. Uh, that um, there are many things that are happening outside. Yeah, Chairperson, can I just have a bite on your remarks? I don't see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it's fine. As I, yeah. As I listen to you talking about the first case of the woman you were talking about. The main, main challenge that we all know that causes such a behavior is the issue of poverty, number one, which leads to dependency. And also what is overarching, what I've observed in different societies, also the issue of Stockholm syndrome, whereby a person is abused, but she feels affection and trust for the abuser and end up maybe protecting the abuser at the expense of his or her life, but often it's hers because it's women. Then on the issue of social media and our children watching a lot of pornographic matters, which eventually leads to incest, which is something that we don't need to see as parents and as a community. We have a film and publication board they are operating all over the country where they educate communities about the negative and the positive aspects of media, especially e e social media. So in that particular area, e film and publication board has very good programs that can lead to an overall transformation in our communities in addressing this particular social ill. Thank you for the opportunity, Chairperson. Okay. Thank you, eh, 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 eh. Mam Tlobatla, thank you very much. Um, anybody else wants to comment? Chairperson, uh, go. Okay, Mam yeah, Ngobo. Thank you so much, Chairperson. No, I, I think that the recent incidents of gender-based violence uh, tell us that we still have a long way to go to address the societal issue. But my view is that we need to really start looking at the boy child. And uh, because at the end of the day, women are not killing themselves. Women are not raping themselves. It's us men who are doing all these horrible things. And I'm glad that Commissioner Porter is also on the call, so I know that he deals with this subject. And so we really need to start having campaigns that speak to young men, boy child. Thanks, Chairperson. Yes. Okay, thank you very much, uh, 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 Babu Ngobo. Unmute your mic, Ma.
worried and confused what you have said and chef to us. But in the morning at the radio, Okozi, they were talking about these things that we should go back to our culture now where we teach our children uh, as uh, Ubuntu. We should go back to our culture, not... Thank you for Babunzobo to touch about the, the, the boy child, because we always take our girl child as forgetting about this. Now we bought our TV, we pay this, our, uh, our TV, and we pay for this program. Parents, let us know that we as parents, now we are demolishing our children about this program we are paying for. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, okay. Um, you know, uh, Commissioner Tlobatla. Yeah, boss, I think one is interested in knowing and uh, uh, the programs that you are talking about um because as a member of parliament i don't know any of their programs and you know when they don't reach out even themselves when they don't reach out uh, to our communities then that means uh, we won't see whether they do have an impact a positive impact or what so maybe what we, yeah, and, and maybe uh, yourselves as a CGE, you must find a way on how then do you build a working relationship also when you are doing all those programs of reaching out to our communities and then try and drop them in. Because you see, if there are programs some way and then they are not a, 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 a known by even us, as, as, as lawmakers, and, and, and what do you expect from an ordinary uh, citizen? You know, yes. but you have a, 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 a good structures uh, a, 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 in the country, but if whether whether they are um, uh, they are effective or efficient uh, within our communities, it's another story, because they might be there. But if they are not known if, even by us ourselves, then uh, it's a problem. Because Mina, if uh, I were to uh, to make a recommendation, was that uh, you know if, if we are, we are going to encourage our people to have we are born into the series of my youth clubs. Dala, when we were growing up, Babu Potha, we about youth club, you know. So we can also uh, uh, use those structures. On, in, in educating our people on some of these things, but also those those they they can also go to to schools. You where you get most of youth is um escolar. So uh, 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 the one way or the other, they they should be forging a working relationship with a, 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 a department of uh, whether it's basic education or yeah very young about my secondary now but they must on on our next program Zoabo. But if we don't even know them, Tina self, then it's a problem. So I'm sure Nina, you can assist us as a CGE. Would you, how then do they uh, uh, reach out to our people? Because Yempela, Yempela, you know, Abantana, most of the children are having these gadgets. You know, and if Abantana be to they are learning all these things, who's telling them to when you are not there. Remember, someone was even telling me today in the morning, but one woman, uh, he found uh, find out that uh, her two daughters were uh, are pregnant by his boy. You know, and, and it's something that is it's, it's, it's scary also. You wake up in the morning, going to work, and then uh, your children 
uh, are doing something else, and then now they are both pregnant. And what is it that to do as a mother? You get shocked. And what what are you going to say to your children? Because it trauma to yourself also. Mm. Yeah, and 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 we need help. Yes. Yeah, you know? check it. Can I just come quickly on the issue of e film and publication board? What they, I, I just hope that was done in all the provinces, but I don't know. What I know is that they were on a roadshow in Bumala where they were teaching communities about cybercrime, social media awareness, and the majority that were attending those roadshows, because I remember I attended two or three of them in different areas. They were targeting women and at the same time they were also targeting young people because the concern as far as their research is concerned is that they're mostly affected by issues of cyber crime and the utilization of social media. It's the young people because maybe they are naive and also because women because they usually see us as vulnerable Yet, as women, we are not vulnerable. Then I heard you, Chair Wami, also mentioning that in the past, we used to have AMA youth movements at schools that were very effective in assisting us. You are correct. I fully agree with you. You reminded me of a project that was very good, that was done by the Department of Education. The last time I heard about it, I think was three or four years back. I think Commissioner Botha will remember that program. We used to do it now in Aboma Shudu. It was called, the, it started as a girls education movement where we were empowering the girl child based on the challenges that, that we were seeing that the girl child was experiencing. But as early as that, we, we realize that there is already a gap on the boy child. What we did now, we formed what we call a boys education movement, meaning in, in one year we'll have the girls education movement where we specifically focus on the girl child, then we go to the boy child. Then when we do our annual closing at the end of the year, we call it B gem. Then when it's B gem, it's the boy child and the girl child combined for a week. So I think if the Department of Education can resuscitate such programs, that would really assist us in these challenges that we are facing at the moment. Uh, thank you very much, uh, 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 honorable members and commissioners. Uh, those were my opening remarks, and thank you for the inputs that you have made. Um, uh, I, I'm hoping that, uh, Babu Potha, you will resuscitate that program uh, and uh, with other uh, uh, commissioners, and uh, uh, it, it can assist us a lot. According to our, our, our agenda, we are now on item number three. Item number three, if you remember, we agreed in our last meeting with you that uh, we'll uh, convene another meeting as a follow-up meeting because uh, it was due to time frame, uh, to, due to time constraints, because uh, at that time our meeting was only two hours. Then we have agreed that we are going to reschedule another meeting so that we can uh, 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 call you back, and uh, we wanted you to uh, to dwell in de into detail with, with regards to the work that you're doing as commissioners. But also, that's why we also requested that uh, uh, you need to finish us with your deployment, so that we know exactly where each commissioner is deployed, uh, and we, we need to know. Even the programs that you are having in 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 in, in your your area of deployment, because uh, it's important for us. Remember when we were uh, 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 doing your 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 interviews, we were checking also the geographical spread, 
that uh, uh, where uh, the commissioners, uh, the applicants are residing, uh, because we wanted to cover each and every every province that no province should be left out. At least most of the provinces uh, must have um, AMA commissioners. And there was an, an issue of uh, um, uh, most, uh, 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 most commissioners coming from Gauteng, uh, which was not a, 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 a transmesh, trans but we, we tried our level best. You know, fortunately, I sat in both uh, uh, ad hoc committees and they were chaired by myself. So uh, that's why we knew which way we are, we, we, we don't have commissioners. So um, we, even when we make we made recommendations and as 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 as, as, as members of parliament of the ad hoc committee, we, we checked uh, the geographical spread that each province is covered. Uh, so there's no province uh, maybe who will not have a commissioner who's residing uh, in, 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 in that uh, in, in that province. So in provinces where we did not have a, a commissioner, we, we take it that uh, we, uh, 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 somewhere, somehow, uh, a, a compromise was going to be uh, uh, to be reached so that uh, 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 some of the commission, some of, some commissioners to be deployed, uh, in, in, especially from comrades, uh, uh, from commissioners of or who are residing in 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 Gauteng. that was basically the the, in, the 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 geographical spread. I still don't have the the the, the, the copy of the deployment of commissioners. Uh, I don't know whether Nelly Swa has forwarded that copy to to my to my email address uh, so that we can look and 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 remember we each commissioner and. Uh, uh, According to the deployment, we we need to know the programs that you are having uh, 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 in 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 those uh, 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 provinces. So I'm trying to guide you on when you you are, you are going to respond uh, to the document that uh, the the chairperson uh, you have submitted to Parliament. Uh, that which are the areas that you need to cover. So, Kashifa, you're still not helping me because me, I'm looking for that copy of deployment of commissioners. I don't see it in my emails. So, uh, 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 I thought uh, maybe you're helping me. Uguti, I must check you or you're giving me that copy. So, uh, we need to know the programs. And also, what we want you to... So, oh, okay, but the deployment uh, 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 of commissioners was never sent uh to to the committee and 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 there's no excuse because what we have said we we, we sent that thing uh, 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 last week you were requested last week to the chair and deputy chair we have sent that request last week of deployment uh, of, of 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 commissioners and it was clear what is it that you are expecting we wanted to know what exactly are you doing uh, 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 in those provinces, and we wanted also to know who are full time, who who is full time, who is part time, and those that are part time uh, and those that are full time. We also wanted to know Uguti, during COVID, during COVID lockdown. Now, uh, what is it that uh, 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 you were doing, and uh, how were you dealing with issues of 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 a, a, a reinvestment because, a, 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 you know, we, we take it that um, if you are, you are, are part-time and, and, and full-time, uh, 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 all of us during the lockdown now, uh, you, you, one way or the other, uh, uh, you must tell us, Nina, you whether, how were you, uh, uh, even your employees, were you paying your employees, were you doing what? So give us a detail, Yoguchi. What is it? And even with commissioners, you must tell us whether you were paying AMA commissioners or you were not paying them. If you were paying them, if you were not paying them, why were you not paying them? What, uh, how, how did you go about uh, in payment of, uh, 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 of part-time commissioners? Uh, so these are the things that you need to tell us so that we can know exactly what is happening in, in, in CGE. Uh, 
also today you must tell us, Buti, what have you done in terms of at assisting uh, commissioners who have uh, 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 um, special needs, like about comrade Mazibuko, oh, yes, not comrade, Commissioner Mazibuko, my apologies, Commissioner Mazibuko, my Commissioner Botha. I know that uh, in, in the previous uh, CGE, they used to be getting assistance. I know that uh, at one stage I spoke to the chair uh, 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 because the, the, uh, there was a complaint that came to me that uh, Commissioner Mazibuko was not getting assistance. Somebody must be hired uh, to, uh, uh, to assist her in doing her, uh, uh, in executing her responsibilities. And uh, I spoke to the chair that uh, I got that uh, a, a complaint. And you must also update us on what is it that you've done as, as a commission. Tell us what whatever decisions uh, or pro uh, programs that we have taken, uh, we have taken, which ones have you implemented? And uh, those that you have implemented, you have implemented where and how, and uh, 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 what are the results? Those that you did not implement, why? And because I've been trying to look at what you said you are doing, let me tell you, if I must do critical criti criticism, you've been saying in your strategic plan and in your APP that, eh, 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 I don't want you. You've been talking about Ukutwala, Ukutwala is not your program. When you came in to CGE, that program was, was there. That yes. program, Ukutwala, is started during Lulu Kingone's time. Yes. I've been quiet about this thing, not wanting to, to, to interject you or to, to, to criticize you or to say anything to you, because I thought you, you are, you are commi responsible commissioners you understand that when we are quiet, sometimes it's not that we are quiet because we don't understand. We are quiet because we are giving you time to think and go and correct and do the right thing. The one land, one hectare of women, one woman, one hectare. So even that one, it's not your initiation. That was there long time ago. Tell us exactly when you came into office, what is it that you have initiated in your programs? and you are implementing. We've been going through your strategic plan. For me, eh, 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 your strategic plan, I don't even know what you are doing. But we just leave you sometimes, you know, when you speak English too much, we just leave you to speak your English because we think you will recorrect yourself at the end of the day. We've been looking at your, your program. We, we want to know your plan. As commissioners, where is your working plan? Because even the programs that we are looking at, you know, if somebody wants to criti critically criticize you as a CGE, you'll be shocked. You'll be shocked. Some of the things when we read, and if you are to account one by one, what is it that you're doing? The programs that you're doing, they, and those of you who, who are working somewhere also, and you are full-time commissioners, have you declared? I know in the last, during uh, on, uh, 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 commissioner in arrest time, uh, there were commissioners who were doing some, some, some part-time uh, 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 jobs, but uh, oh. it was reported because they have declared and they were, they were given a permission by, 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 by the, 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 the the, the committee at, at that time. So we knew who is working where, doing what. But this time, we haven't asked you, so the first time that we, we ask you. So these are some of the things that you need to tell us, uh, because if you have allowed Drobata to uh, work at uh, the Premier's office as a full-time uh, official, then that means that thing must be known by the, uh, the, 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 the by CGE and a permission it must be granted accordingly so. So these are some of the things that you need to clarify us today. That's why I was saying to you, 
uh, even members were saying, yes, we will reconvene. Uh, we want uh, the commissioners to come back and tell us. We, we see other, some of you, we see you, uh, 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 you are doing other things, uh, 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 which is good. We appreciate, but we need to know. Gender-based violence is increasing each and every day. There was a launch of a national a strategic plan by an interim steering committee. They are talking that uh, uh, about appointing a gender council. Yeah, they say that it's a council. And 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 we we take it that uh, uh, you are a, a very important stakeholder there. You can also share with us, what is your thinking? Do we need a council? Uh, what do you think the council uh, uh, should look like? They said last week there was a, I don't, I don't know, a, a meeting, a webinar, something that was organized by the department, but we were not uh, invited as the portfolio committee, we don't know. And uh, also maybe because maybe you, you you were invited, you can also share with us what did people say? Because we were not invited. Um, so, uh, 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 yeah, I, I think uh, those are the things that uh, uh, um, we want to, to, to hear from you. Uh, so that, uh, and also your working relationship because you know sometimes it's disturbing to to hear uh, on other members complaining i don't get uh, my assistance that as a commissioner to do my work this is supposed to be done this way it's it's very disturbing uh, because we take it that you are working as a collective and when you work as a collective it's like myself being the chair i'm not above all the members but my responsibility, I've got an extra responsibility as the as a, a, a person who must drive this car. But also in each and everything that I'm, I'm, we're doing, uh, uh, so we are expecting you to be working as a collective and we are not expecting you to be working in silos. But also, if you get deployed by uh, your, 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 whether you are deployed by the chair and the deputy chair, or if you have deployed how, you must tell us. Um, Manibu, yeah, uh, uh, do you report back on the progress made in those things? You know, if I can criticize you uh, as, uh, as CGE, you know, there are cases that I have forwarded to CGE. I've got a cases, the St. Northern Cape, that I forwarded to CGE. I have sent to the chair. I have sent, I think even Uneli, so I have sent them to the CEO. Up until today, those cases haven't been attended to. There was a lady who was not uh, treated uh, 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 fairly in the office of the premier, that lady, reported she was expelled or what in Northern Cape. I forwarded that case last year, not this year, last year. Up until today, I haven't got the response. I have given you a case of those two girls who were raped by their father. Up until today, I haven't got any feedback from both the chair and the deputy chair. Uguti, where is that case? What is happening? Aguko Luto. So if there are these small things being sent to you to deal with, what about other th people who are calling you about uh, 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 issues every day? No, but we must know, you know, these things, ECGE is one 
chapter nine institution that is in the heart, in my heart, because I was there when you were uh, 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 appointed and when you were recommended to the president, Guti, this is the cream that we can, president can appoint. But if we don't get results, that means we have a right also to go back to the president. But no, I not a sense of mistake. Not a sense of mistake. We still have that confidence in you. All what I'm saying to you is don't disappoint us. The confidence that we have in you and what you projected to us. And how do you maintain it? By delivering what is expected from you. Sinitanda nonke, sine confidence gini nonke. We know, Guti, you can change things that are unchangeable. Dealing with inequalities, you are the institution that can make everything possible. Don't disappoint us. We trust you, the faith and the trust that we have in you. We are very proud of you. You know, and we're not afraid to tell people about you. But deep down, knowing what, there are things that you're not doing right. And I, I, we have never said them. But we've decided what we will tell you in a meeting. And this is the meeting that we have taken a decision what we are going to tell you today. So that we can be open and frank and critique you constructively. So, um, I, I, I think uh, if there's no member who wants to say anything, uh, we can move forward if there's no members. Can I check honorable members first? If honorable members say uh, we can move forward, that's fine. Uh, Mama Sol okay, Mama Sol yes. Yes, I, I'm just checking. There is a document here, written CTE five-year response to presidential plan. Uh, then in page, uh, there is uh, the role, the role of the co of the commissioners that we were asking for. Is there a chairperson? I don't, I don't know whether maybe I catch it. If you check it in in this uh, iPad. Yeah, there's a difference between the role and the deployment. The role must yeah, go. Yeah, no, the deployment the... is not here. Yeah, yes. so that's what you yes. want. Uh, they yeah, will talk. Okay. Fine. They will talk to okay. each other. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any member who wants to say something? Okay. Uh, silence means uh, we can move forward. Um, Okay, um, we can go then. Uh, the last one that uh, we have done is uh, whatever you have done yesterday, it's it's injustice. How do you send a, a document last night? A document that we need to deal with today. Is it correct? Maybe you'll tell us. This meeting was a long planned meeting, but we received your document last night. So how do you expect our researchers to do the analysis? How do you expect our members 
to read your documents and come and contribute a valuable and effective We are not being honest to us. That's wrong. You know what uh, you must submit your report seven days before. Um, so you, you see uh, uh, what we have done is unacceptable. It's even worse because the chair wanted to withdraw I don't know which document, and I said, no, you can't withdraw it. Can't withdraw it now because now it's time for the meeting. So, is a withdrawal guarantee because Bokfanigan Abenin and submitted a document a long time ago. And if that's why Fanigan submitted early, so that when you see good to know there is something that is not uh, correct in those documents. Uh, you can be able then to withdraw it on time. So the chair and the deputy chair, we are disservicing us. I don't know how do you work, both of you, the chair and the deputy chair. Niseben Zaganjan, I think today we must talk about that. How do you work, Nina Nibabiz? Yeningati Anikulumi. How do you lead other commissioners if both of you, you are not working as a team? We can't go on like that. You, you see there, it thumbs me because it won't know one. The mere fact to go to Nina, if you send a document, you send a document yesterday when the meeting is today, and then better today, if you withdraw, no, I don't know. I don't know. You know, honorable members, Sister Joyce, who are they? Yes, on uh, Chairperson. Okay, over to you. My hand is up. And it's oh, Bonnie Sanders, and for sure, and the person in the right, ne? Oh, yeah, hey, Chairperson, we are sorry, Chairperson. Go to Chairperson. the far, far right. <laughs> Go to the far right. Yes. Nyagbonage, comrade, Sister Joyce, Nyagbona la piano. You must go to the far right. When you mm -hmm. go to all right, there's there's a something eighty more actions. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let us parliament sang a isan la parliament. O seven sa i i laptop or the problem. The problem, chairperson, is seven sa i phone. That's why maybe in oh. anai. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, chairperson. Okay, no, you can speak, sister. Okay, chairperson. Thank you very much, and. Good afternoon, everybody. Chairperson, I, I just want to share your concern. Really, I think CG is not doing us right. Mm -hmm. Actually, they are not even doing us favor if they bring their documents on time. Mm -hmm. So they bring the documents late yesterday, and they expect us to engage the documents today, and they even want to withdraw the document. So I think maybe, Chairperson, let's just give them a chance to explain themselves. What is the problem? Why did they have to bring us the documents very late? And why do they want to withdraw the documents again? Because if it means they have brought us a wrong document, it means this meeting is it's not supposed to, to, to go on today. So I, I just propose that we give the Chairperson time now so that she can explain herself why do they do this thing because really they know that documents must be with us seven days prior to the meeting thank you chairperson 
Thank you, Honorable Maluleka. Honorable Mkweba. Thanks, Chair. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Honorable Members. Uh, Chair, I've listened to your input and uh, I agree with Honorable Maluleka that on, in all the issues that we have raised, you have unpacked all the issues of discussions and uh, obvious uh, reports from the from the commissioners. Let's give them an opportunity to let's give the, the, the chair an opportunity to present the the, the input uh, according to what we have raised, a uh, chair, so that we can be able to ask com questions or comments as per the, the, the presentation from the chair of the of the of the CGE. Okay, thank you very much, Babu Ngobo. Uh, thanks, Jefferson. Uh, I also share your concerns um, about the CGE and especially the late submission of of documents. But I also agree with honourable members that we need to, as a solution, give them time to present, explain themselves, and give us a way forward. And I know that it's something that you have touched on, Chairperson, but what I would also like to know from the CGE specifically is, is them telling us the specifics as to who is full-time and who is part-time? Where are they based if the commissioner is based in Guazulu-Natal? Where about in KZN? Thanks, Chairperson. Okay, uh, thank you very much, um, uh, Honorable Flomo. Honorable Stay. Okay, uh, over to you, Chairperson. Thank you, Chairperson. Um, there's a problem with my video. It says it's muted by the by the, by the administrator or something. But I think I'd like to agree with uh, the members of, of the portfolio committee that let's give them a chance to to explain and then we take it from there. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Members. Makawula Gagangin. Makaula Mamson Diabangin. Have they um, logged in, Elisa? No, Mam Kaula was, was still having problems, Che. I'm not sure what's happening. Why? I've asked uh, the lady IT. from uh, to assist her. Okay, can uh, okay. Thank you very much. Over to you, Che. Good afternoon, uh, Honorable Chairperson, um, the WIP, um, Honorable Members of the Portfolio Committee on Women, Youths and Persons with Disabilities. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to really say that, um, you know, to begin with, I would like to thank you all for inviting us back to this meeting, which is a follow up meeting to the meeting of the 26th to discuss a, you know, outstanding matters and I think the matters that are raised um, today. Um, I know that the particular focus for this meeting for today is on the role of commissioners, um, particularly the work that commissioners do as full-time and part-time commissioners. A chair, um, first and foremost, I just want to apologize to you and all honorable members for the documents that were sent and shared late. Um, and and um, we, we, we really apologize because there is usually a process that we follow internally before we submit. So we usually consult all of the commissioners. Uh, we give inputs into the document, um, and I think there were some few delays, which is why we then submitted uh, the documents late, Chair. And we really want to apologize um, in that score, and we also want to say that uh, going forward, Chairperson, we will really try to improve 
on the um, issue of submissions and submitting documents in time. Um, having said that, Chair, we also, I think, erroneously submitted a particular document which we thought was a bit outdated, which is the document um, that is looking at the uh, emergency response plan by President. I think we then realized that it's outdated and we perhaps needed to even talk more about the role of the commission, the commissioners, with regards to the newly approved uh, gender-based violence national strategic plan. And we demonstrate and we talk about where our efforts and our mandates will go to, to monitor the implementation of the new strategic plan uh, and the uh, and the and, and and the monitoring of the effectiveness of the uh, uh, the GPV council, the, the GPV national council. I think that was the reason, chair, because the the there was a life for that particular document on Europe, and that document's life has come to an end, and we have the new strategic plan, which is why we thought perhaps we could just uh, you know um, withdraw the document and then just focus on the work that we will do going forward in terms of uh, monitoring and evaluating um, the implementation or the rollout of the strategic plan. Chair, uh, for, honorable... before Honorable Chairperson sent us the deployment of commissioners, whilst we're in the meeting, sent us the deployment of the commissioners. When you present the strategy, you want to go through the deployment of your uh, commissioners, as per what also Honorable Ngobo have said. Do you want to see who is deployed where and where are those offices? Let your, your staff members send those documents as you, you present the report. Thank you very much. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you very much. We we have uh, shared the deployment uh, uh, of a, a list of commissioners uh, just now to uh, Miss Nelly Swanobatana. I think the document was sent um, about um, 15 minutes ago. I'm sure it's been circulated to members as we speak. But I'm more than willing to speak to to the document chair. But I think it's coming to your um, to your emails and your boxes as we speak. Perhaps with your permission, I can just go to the document chair. Chairperson, I'm sorry. Yeah, Bob. Okay, yeah, Chairperson. Yes, uh, Chairperson of CGE, you have not told us what was the problem of your late submission of documents. We, I am interested in knowing why did you submit your documents so late? Is it because of your administration or what happened? Because yes, you are promising us next time we are not going to do the same mistake. But what is the reason of late submission? Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Maluleka. Uh, over to you, Chair. The response for the late submission. Uh, thank you, Chair. Thank you very much uh, for the question uh, from the Honourable uh, Member, Honourable Maluleke. Uh, Chair, let me perhaps uh, explain it this way. Um, I think uh, from the meeting of the 26th Honourable Chair, there were questions that we were supposed to submit and respond to and questions that were raised by honorable members. So we went away from the meeting of the 26th and we sat down and we prepared responses to those questions, Chair, and we submitted them on the 8th of June. And I think that was the request and the exercise that we did. Then there was a request, Chair, that this meeting will convene and it will focus on the role of the commissioners. And only last week, Chair, we then realized that we need to do a little bit of extra work over and above the questionnaire and the response that we sent to honorable members uh, on, the, on the 8th of June. 
So I think we started working as a team and as commissioners uh, from last week, uh, Friday over the weekend, uh, until we then decided that the documents uh, that were, we were to send were only ready to be sent uh, the day before yesterday, Che. And I can uh, show you an email that um, the, the, the secretariat actually sent those documents uh, not last night, but a day before last night, Che. So I think this was the work that we thought over and above the questionnaire and responses that we sent last week. We need to perhaps share more with honorable members, Che. And, I'm, and, and I know that it could be a miscommunication, but I think, Che, you know, there was an effort in terms of making sure that there are documents that we can engage on today. Thank you, Che. Honorable Maluleka. Uh, Chairperson, I can hear the reasons, but really they are not convincing. Because I still remember, even in our last meeting, we spoke about the roles of commissioners. So it's not that it was a new request which they received last week. And I don't think with the roles of commissioners, it should take them so long to prepare the roles of commissioners because they know their roles, their responsibilities. So I, I'm not sure whether maybe because it was a miscommunication, she says the documents were sent a day before last uh, yesterday, but I'm not sure. Well, I, I think maybe we, let's just continue and condone this thing, but make sure that chairperson of CGE next time you don't repeat the same mistake. We need documents earlier so that as members, we can go through the documents and be able to engage when we meet. Thank you, Chair. In fact, what I, I have seen, uh, they don't have a plan. Yeah, I'm a commissioner. True, Chairperson. Yeah, it's true. So how do you do your work when you don't have, you even have a plan? Roles and responsibilities without a plan, what does that mean? How do you work? Tell us, Ninga Pendula Nabani, because Ultra Person here to Agaka Zapendula here to Yonkel and Tele Nienza Nong. You don't have a plan. Nina Mani Salagoma Plenar Nisana Nenze in. Nitin Mani is born and in and sevens. Pella, we are highly educated. Nin. We are not dealing with Abantuji, Abanga C, Abanga understand. Uguti uh, moving here to do no. You are very smart. How do you do your work when you don't have a plan as commissioners? Uh, Chairperson, can I come in, Chairperson? Maktala Babu Pot, advocate. Tabi saying, unmute your mic. Advocate, unmute your mic. We you mute the food and mute it. Yeah. Is okay. it fine now? Yeah. 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 Chair, yeah. Chair, I was going to say thank you for the opportunity from you and the honorable uh, co um, uh, members. You are all correct. We are a team of very skilled, highly skilled people uh, who. Uh, in fact, know what they are supposed to do coming from where we are coming from. And the strength, that is why I, I liked when you're saying when you chose us, you were confident. The strength of your thinking when you chose us actually shows. We've got uh, commissioners like Commissioner Moliko, who is a systems commissioner, who's a governance card. He know, she knows those kinds of things. Then you have another commissioner who will know this commissioner Bota is like me we we hit the streets we that's where we should be i also do legal with commissioner day other commissioners do the, we've got all of those commissioner Tlobatla is a governance person and all of that but we are actually not using all of those skills optimally because we do not operate as a team we are 10 or 11 individuals relating with the chair, which in itself is a problem. 
we we don't operate at the CGE as a team. And uh, what a pity that this meeting actually came before we had our meeting. We had suggested a meeting on the 2nd and 3rd of um, April. And then, uh, no, 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 not because COVID happened, but administration didn't follow up on our request as plenary because we had already identified amongst ourselves that we are not operating optimally in terms of our skills. We, uh, yes, we do not have a plan, but it is not because of a lack of other commissioners not trying. We have all said, let us have a plan that gets adopted. I know Commissioner Moliko has been at the forefront of saying that. Why, wh what are we doing? We need to do this. We need to do that. Let's consolidate it. But you, you end up with a situation where it falls apart because I don't know whether we bring, all of us bring 10 other views or 11 other views, but the coordination is definitely not strong. Leadership is definitely not strong, but the ideas are there. Even now, it is again, hey, what a pity. Now I realize that she's, she's actually been leading in so many ways. Who's been saying all what we want to do has got to be response to uh, the APP. In fact, the presidential document that has been submitted to you was spearheaded by Commissioner Moliko. But if we can tell you the, the, the trauma that we went through to actually say we need this, because in our commission, unfortunately, we end up looking at if it's Moliko, I'm going to reject it. I think we need to take this opportunity to actually tell the truth. The strengths are there. We are not coordinated. We are not a team. The leadership is not strong. A typical example is what we have submitted now. We only focused on what I have been asked. Respond to this, respond to this, respond to that. Who coordinates? a small team of us as commissioners to say the three of you run with it. Okay, consolidate it, include this, include that. We are 10, 11 individuals working with the chair. Ma'am Kaula, you're welcome. Um, thank you for following in. Uh, Babu Bosa. Chairperson, thank you so much. Uh, I, I I wanted to say also to thank you and the uh, honourable members for this opportunity, Chairperson. But I want also to start by saying that um, we 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 as as a as a team, I I will obviously differ, Chairperson. I think that um, the the Chairperson has been doing or continues to do admirable work, Chairperson, uh, and then honourable members. Uh, what what uh, it seems to be a problem is um, more often than not, West Secretariat may not be putting their shoulder to the wheel. And, and, and they, probably one can say that the chair uh, in, in her management should actually be more stronger. But I want to submit to you, uh, Chairperson and honorable members, that there is lots and lots of work that is happening. But again, I specifically want to respond to that Chairperson and honorable members, when you look at the APP, it's actually a roadmap. So, so it's not true, Chairperson, that we don't know what to do. I, 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 I flatly, flatly want to refuse, Chairperson, that we don't know what to do because the, 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 the APP is a clear and equal that we do as a monitoring mechanism, Chairperson. And, and to say that, uh, some of us uh, come from NGO uh, uh, background. Uh, being at the CGE, we have a totally different mandate. To give you an example, I, I operate, I'm based in Limpopo. Now, my work with the traditional leaders, with the religious leaders, it would obviously be different than that of a, a, an NGO because we are charged. If you look at our uh, different responsibilities and you look at APP, our roles are clear, which is chairperson and honorable members. It is to monitor, it is to hold um, those that we work with accountable. In particular, 
in particular, Chairperson, if I am in Limpopo, I, I always need to know which traditional leader who is a woman who is not heads, what are the bottlenecks, what are the problems? I speak with the Premier, Premier Matabati. I speak with the, 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 the MEC in the Premier Matabati's office responsible for traditional leaders. So I'm just saying that, Chairperson, one has got to be very clear this afternoon that the, the roadmap is a clear indication as to uh, what we do as commissioners. If you ask me now, Chairperson and all of my members, if you wake me up and say, Mbuizelo, what do you do daily at the CGE? I, I can share with committee members. I can share with you, Chairperson, a, a word by word, chapter and verse as to what is it that I do in Limpopo on a, on a daily basis, being based in Johannesburg, working in my office in Limpopo, Chairperson. I just wanted to, to think that it's an opportunity for us or for me to, to put the record straight. And that record is that there is lots of work happening in, 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 in different provinces, Chairperson. Thank Bob you, Chairperson Bob. and committee members. Thank you, thank you very much, Babu Pot. I think I don't want to engage uh, uh, in some of the statements that we have said, ne? but you know, for, 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 for us, we need a plan, a plan that will tell us what each commissioner is going to do. When you sit in your plenary, remember when you sit in your plenary adopting your strategic plan and your APP, Tina, we want, what we want to see, Uguti, who is going to do what in leading the program. You see, you are commissioners, you are highly knowledgeable and you have experience. You must not come to us one, one and who, this, this is a, a meeting. And whatever your response should be objective, take go back as a team where you don't do things up, uh, as expected, go back as a team and correct yourselves and things according to the way they are supposed to be done. I don't want to, to say to you now, for a person like myself who's listening to you, it's like now I will use a word like it's like you are because you see when you listen to people because Tina seven listen attentively every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to us, you must not sound like it's two groups; they are divided. To us, you must sound like you are a team. So when you are a team, you accept responsibility. All of you. It's not about one or right, one or wrong. It's about you as commissioners doing what is right. It's about you leading ECGE as a governance structure being able, having that ability to direct administration to do certain tasks and activities. But when you are going to express a problem, it's when you present something and to us, you sound like no, no, no. failure of administration in delivering and implementing your decisions. It will come back to you. So that's why you must be a, a, a very sensitive and skeptical when you respond as commissioners. Because she now will listen to you. So you don't have a plan. Nobody says anaz and anaz is Otherwise, Myself, I'm Kaula, I see Joyce. We we're part of the panel. Oh. We understand we know all of you. 
but we are expecting more from you. So we, we don't want to dwell in things. That, we don't want to dwell in petty things. All what we are saying to you is, do you do the right thing? Do you do things that are ethical for you to be done? Honorable Chair, Who's interjecting me. Oh, so, sorry, sorry, Chair. On, so, on, on, uh, 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 honorable member and uh, uh, my my, uh, uh, as uh, you are leaving a can, so you've got a huge responsibility. You have a huge responsibility. We don't have time. Yes, yes. So please don't do these things of cover-ups. Mm. Don't. That's why we say we want to see your deployment so that we can be able to advise you if your deployment is wrong. Because when we, we, we were recommending you, we were considering it your graphical spread. We told you. So that each and every one of you, each and every member, a committee, will be liaising with you in those provinces. They must know, honorable members must know, not only members of our portfolio committee, all members of the parliament, whether it's opposition or it's who, they must know what there are commissioners way to find. We need to assist you because you report directly to us. So there's no way that when we see things are falling apart, we are not going to assist you. No, we are not being pleased by you not having a good working relationship. No, it's not correct to receive messages whereby other members are saying, no, I don't get assistance. I have this physical challenge. I need to get assistance, but it's like I'm not taking serious not fair. So I'm appealing to you, would you, when you respond to us, respond correctly. Honorable uh, 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 Commissioner uh, Mam O'Hara and the uh, 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 Deputy Chair. Uh, uh, honorable members and my fellow commissioners. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much for the opportunity, uh, uh, Chairperson. Uh, we appreciate it very much. And Chairperson, I want to concur with you when you talk about the importance of the CGE from Sebens S. now. And really say that our task is very huge. Uh, we are dealing with very deeply in that, uh, embedded uh, po problems, and we need to be a strong, organized entity. And I, I won't argue with the point you make that we do not have a plan, because the truth is that as the CGE, we have that strategic plan, we have the APP, and we now have, a, we've been trying to develop our, our own program. Mm -hmm. But Chairperson, I, I can say, Nam, Uti, we have been deployed, you will see the list of deployments. We have been deployed, but uh, we, we have been deployed with the intention of doing our work in accordance with the handbook where we are supposed to be in the provinces and assisting and supporting the, the provincial manager in terms of the work done, getting to know the provincial gender machinery, getting to know the critical gender issues that are, are, are affecting in that province, and all of those things. And that kind of work requires a plan. 
And I can say, Chairperson, that we have been deployed, but we have not, and, and I'm making maybe a general statement, but informed by own experience. We have not actually had the time and space to do the plan as we would have liked to do it. Because, yes, sir, I think what we have written is just individual things on our own laptops to say, this is what I'm going to be doing in Gauteng, and this is what I'm going to be doing, and this is what I'm going to be doing. But to be concretized as a plan, mainly also because, yes, sir, Kenya because I think the, the, the reallocation of, of, of internal happened just before April and Namanje foot it has been we have a a a a a king a yeah okay. a river no I'm talking now about the plan chairperson oh. because in Gempela we have been discussing this uh, we have been discussing even with ourselves and talking to uh, our co-commissioners in the particular uh, and my bottom line chairperson you know so maybe the take off from this conversation is that we must concretize those plans so that we can know exactly what it is and how we measure it and all of that and all of that and i want to say to you chairperson ecge what we have discussed during the this lockdown because the lockdown has made one to really look at the documents. And there's a lot of work that has been done by the CTE. Yes, the Ugutwala is an old one, but we don't start afresh. We've got to build afresh. But maybe say on Ugutwala, this is what we are taking forward. Uh, on uh, uh, abuse, the abuse, it's something that we really have to apply our mind for. What are we going to do differently? Every day there is a woman who is killed. There is a child who is killed. Tina, what must we do apart from Uktandaza? Sfanele Senze, Ama Systems, Ameganjan, Bayaba Bamba, Bayaba Fagetele, Bayaba Kwebana. Those are the things, the real hard things that we have to be dealing with as women, as gender commissioner. And Chairperson, I was saying, you know, this is a new decade. 2020 is a new decade. It's a new 10 years period. What are we going to be doing? EC, ECGE has been in existence for 20 years. And we have drawn from that because we are repositioning ourselves as a catalyst. A catalyst means to push, to say, I change and then to say, I change and then go over. Go to again. Well, your question, Chairperson, is what are you doing? If you are deployed there, what are you doing? If you are deployed there, those are the things that we must really put together and concretize, you know, into a plan. Uh, Chairperson, you talk about part time commissioners and full time commissioners. I think that's another, I don't want to get into that. Uh, not now. Maybe another time when we talk organizationally, Uguti, we in in terms of umted, we have part-time commissioners, we have full-time commissioners. Konamanje ge COVID. Isbambe sing I expect le COVID. And again, you raise the question, Yahore, how do you deal with those that are paid hourly? But there is, it's, it's an organizational matter, chairperson, and we are governed by legislation. We are governed by this public, the Gender Commission Act, which says this. We are governed by the PFMA and other laws which say that. But okay, there's a middle road. I, I won't get into that. It's, it will be dealt with uh, maybe, maybe by, by the chairperson. But, but I am saying what I want your chairperson is the question of the plan so that we don't become personal chairpersons. Yes. Let us build the CGE. Me now what I would like to see chairperson and us, and I think I said it even in the interview, is to build the CGE. How do we build 
a strong institution because the mandate of this institution is groundbreaking. If we can, if we can achieve the mandate, we will have, we will build the non-racial, non-sexist society that we have dreamt about all these years. So that is our challenge. And Isamakan etu songe te person. I like what you say when you say work as a team, because that teamness is something that we uh, we have already identified in another plenary, which we have to begin to deal with that so that we can work together as a team. You know, we were supposed to have a process, a team building process, which would come out with how we work together as a strong team, all of those things, all of those things, but uh, uh, things did not work out that way. And the COVID now is asking your best. So I'm just saying, Chairperson, me now my appeal is that we should talk about the CTE and how we build an institution and how we draw on all our skills, Uguze, Siachive, the non-racial, non-sexist, violence and femicide-free society. This is and yeah. we can't do it. And Chairperson, by the way, we don't. We, we can't do it as the CTE. We and I appreciate what you are saying, Uti. We have to work collaboratively. Sing a sad, and we must not paint rosy pictures. We must say the thing as it is. Because if you cover up, you are not dealing with the root problem. So Mina, that's where I will I will stop chairperson and saying Gempela, the 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 plan. Uh, we by the way, if you are to talk about a plan, chairperson, it must be a plan I it mm. It must be a plan that must also be costed. Mm. What are the uh, financial implications? Do we have the 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 capacity to do to do it? Can we draw on the section six committees and all of that and all of that? But all of that thing will come out to a person if we are really planning and say, this is where we are. This is where we want to go. What are the steps that we must put in place? Mount yes. Yes. Airport, person, thank, person. thank you very much, uh, 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 I think, um, You understood me very well. You understood me very well. That's why even looking at your deployment here, uh, you will need to go back and review this deployment. I beg your pleasure. You'll have to go back and review this deployment. Because uh, uh, if you want people to be efficient and effective and deliver, this deployment is not going to assist you. I can mention many names here. Is this the new one? Is this the new deployment or is an old one? It's an updated one. It's a new one, Chair. Yeah, um, the way you have done it, uh, 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 you, you'll go back, ne? Yeah, when, what um, O'Hara was saying uh, in terms of also costing it and whatever, uh, when you are drafting a plan and so on, you know what? Don't make life difficult for yourselves. And you see, Honorable uh, a Commissioner from Free State is nearer Northern Cape. If you want a person to be efficient, you take a person who's nearer that province to go and work in that province. Because Northern Cape and, and, and Free State are my neighbors. So if you want, you, you are serious about delivering and you want a person, whether this person is a part-time or is a full-time, but this person is better placed to go to Northern Cape because are my neighbors. Honorable uh, co uh, Commissioner Botha, because uh, you can drive to Bila Bila, and uh, I'm not sure if uh, uh, going further, Boki, but at least you, you, it's it's nearer. You can drive from here to to to, to Limpopo. Uh, 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 so you must look at these provinces the way you know. There's one commissioner I've never seen in our meetings. Uday. 
is 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 is, he, is she still part of uh, CGE? Because I've I've never seen her in your, in our meetings. Chair, Commissioner yes, Jay is still the commission as a, a commissioner. Yes, Chair, Commissioner Day is still the commissioner, part-time commissioner. She has never attended our meeting. So where is she reporting? Because commissioners are reporting to parliament. Yeah, yeah, you're accountable to parliament. Where is she accounting? Do we uh, inform her about meetings or what? Honorable Chair, we she is aware of the meetings. We inform her. I did not receive any apology this time, but for the meeting of the 26th Chair, 26th of May, she uh, tendered an apology. There was a bereavement in the family, Chair. Um, and I think the funeral was around the 20th, 28th or 29th, if I'm not mistaken. The previous meetings, I've never seen her. Yeah. The previous meetings, I've never seen her. Okay, let's continue. Uh, in the next meeting, I've never seen her in any of our meetings as a parliament. Uh, Deputy Chair, so that we can move. Yeah, thank you, Chair. Um, thank you for the comments. Uh, good afternoon, honorable members. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues. Uh, just two points that I want to make. Um, if uh, our chairperson can maybe guide the discussion to put the points that the honourable members have raised in uh, coordinated fashion. So for instance, the first issue is what exactly have we done? And I think that speaks to what we have submitted. If we can just co uh, answer what honourable Masiko, honourable Mwobo have, have raised, what are the key programs and just focus uh, a few points on that. Then the second point we must make sure we cover is this issue of part-time versus full-time. So if you can just separate the discussions, Commissioner, so that we talk on a thing and then we finish. Uh, I think the third point was raised on the GBV. We were asked about, are we happy about the council? What would our inputs be? So I think that if we can guide the discussion a little bit so we can be focused and then on our working relationship is the fourth point. Uh, so if we can just try to cover all the points that the honorable members have raised in a systemic fashion, a systemic way, Chairperson, if we can just try to start with the actual programs and the comments on the programs and what you were going to present. Uh, uh, Chairperson, because there's these four key points. Then I wanted to add a point on the planning. Chairperson and the honorable members, if you, uh, co commissioners, you can recall, last year we approved an emergency response action plan. In that action plan, there was a, I think I'm surprised that the chairperson sent this to you. I think it's, I would say a godsend. That, that, that document that you actually have with you has five thematic areas on prevention of GBV, on how we strength we have approved as commissioners, how to strengthen the criminal justice system, how to enhance the legal and policy framework, uh, the support care and healing for victims. We actually said that this is an area that we want the CGE to have a role in, and the economic empowerment. And there were specific measures for men that we then advanced. I think that we definitely need to go back to the drawing board to look at maybe why we didn't implement that action plan which we had approved and uh, we expedite that particularly given uh, the concerns that have been raised uh, by the parliament and also the honorable members uh, i do believe that commissioners have put a lot of effort in this process and it was approved by the commission uh, and the, the 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 question then becomes uh, how do we work together in a consolidated way as a unit uh, so that we can advance these. And I think the point made is that let's let's move away from uh, personalities, rather let's move to the institutional issues and try to advance the institutional capacity. We have a plan, Chairperson, I want to put that forward. We have an emergency response action plan. We have never brought it to you uh, in Parliament. We accept that and we heed that perhaps we have ourselves not been coordinated. And I myself in the office of the chairperson take full responsibility as the deputy chair, even for the submission of the documents late. There's no excuse. I think let's just accept that we failed in that regard. There's no excuse. Uh, we will not do it again. Thank you. Thank you, honorable members. Chairperson, I'll hand back to you, uh, Commissioner Matebo. 
Thank you uh, very much, uh, uh, Deputy Chair, Honourable Chairperson. Uh, um, are the members who want to, to ask a clarity-seeking question? Uh, Honourable members, you are fine, because I, Kashifa was saying, members, uh, you have raised your hands, and but I, I don't see your hands. Okay, uh, over to you, Chairperson. Oh, Mam Kaula. Mam Kaula. Okay, over to you, Honorable Chair. Mam Kaula will come back again. Uh, over to you, Chair. Chairperson, thank you very much, and the honourable members, uh, thank you for, uh, again, the opportunity. I want to agree with the Deputy Chair that uh, perhaps we need to work systematically. Uh, you raised about eight points, uh, Chairperson, and uh, perhaps the first one was around the deployment list, uh, which we will continue to engage and look at how we can deploy better, Chair. But I think the list you have now. Uh, this, the, the second um, uh, question, uh, Chairperson, was around the assistant. I'm just looking at those that haven't been responded to. Assisting okay. the part-time commissioner, um, the assistance to... Ban Manjuloy. Can I can I continue, Chair? Yes, Colonel Muntu. Abantana be kongi one. O mam kaula be gasi step abantana. Okay, over to you, chair. Sorry Thank for you, the chair. Um, chair, I was moving to the next item in the agenda. Um, about the support that was supposed to be offered or given to, uh, part-time commissioners with needs. Commissioners, I must uh, mention that, uh, Chair, that um, the, the, the assistance to the two commissioners was identified as early as August last year. We identified that Commissioner Border um, was supposed to be given a special assistance um, in terms of writing reports. He was engaged on the 16th of August last year in terms of the needs that he was expecting from the commission. Then the following week, I think the third week of August, Commissioner Mazibuko was also engaged uh, individually to look at her own special needs. And we then looked at these special needs chairperson in relation to the reasonable accommodation policy that the commission has. We have what we call reasonable accommodation policy that looks at accommodating or addressing special needs uh, of particular commissioners and staff members working at the commission. Chair, I want to update you that uh, the process so far has been delayed. Uh, the adverts for uh, um, the uh, PA, uh, a special PA to both Commissioner Mazibugo and Commissioner Boda. Uh, was done and the advert went out as early as last year, end of September. So that advert went out, Chair, um, and I know that it solicited uh, some people to actually apply to be a special a, a PAs uh, for Commissioner Boda and Commissioner Mazibuko. And we were looking at getting one PA that was going to be shared um, between the two commissioners. The, uh, the advert uh, chair then was closed in November, end of November. 
and because of December period at office during the month of December, there were no interviews that were, were conducted during December month. And I think the process was then deferred to the following year, which is 2020, January and February. Chair, I must update you that and also align with what Commissioner Botha was saying, that uh, sometimes you will find that, um, you know, the delays from the Secretariat side uh, were that those that were supposed to be interviewed could not be interviewed uh, up to till date. Chair, I must also indicate to you that in following up uh, on the reasons why there were delays from the Secretariat, I think there was a special request that was made by a particular commissioner, Commissioner Mazibuko, to at least be given an opportunity to make sure that the previous assistant or person that was assisting be uh, given an, an opportunity to also just uh, apply and be part of the application. And I think that process was then allowed chairperson and I must also admit that at plenary of the 26th and 27th, we also had an engagement and to find out where uh, the bottlenecks are in terms of really getting an assistance or a PA for the two commissioners. And I must admit, uh, say that, Chair, that um, in updating this meeting, that the, the CV of that particular person was only submitted a week away from the date of the 26th or 27th uh, of February, Chair. So since then, we made a commitment, Chair, in February that we will fast track the process so that come the new financial year, April 1st, there is a PA for both Commissioner Boda and Commissioner Mazibuko. Chair, I must also say and update this meeting that to date, there is still no PA for Commissioner Boda and Commissioner Mazibuko. And I know that from March, we went away and there was a lockdown, but I think this is also one of the areas where there has been a delay, delay chair. Thank you. Uh, chair, chairperson of the portfolio committee, Salo, man, we would. We would wait for Chair to just get a direction uh, if we need to engage on this. Thank you. Yeah, hey, technology, thank you, Pile. No, but I'm back. I'm sorry, I'm going to turn the chair, but it's fine. Uh, honorable members, uh, uh, we're present. Uh, we can continue. Okay, Ninga Kurmaskar. Yeah, ma'am. The next, uh, an honorable chair, you are, you are done with all the reports. Or oh, you were no, responding chair. to those that you have raised? I was responding to the list that you tabled this morning, chair, oh. and I responded on one issue so far, and I will wait your direction, chair. Okay, uh, honorable members, can we continue? Chairperson. Yes, honorable Madula. I think we we can let uh, the CGG chairperson to wrap up all the reports so that we can engage on them. Okay. It's okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Yes. Chair. Ish. I'm big feeling as young keeper man. Technology. <laughs> Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Honorable Members. I think another issue raised uh, this morning was the payment of commissioners, um, you know, the full-time versus part-time commissioners during COVID-19. 
Chair, um, as the Commission, we had an engagement uh, on this issue uh, and uh, we had a, an emergency plenary to look at this issue in particular, Chair, and uh, that uh, plenary was in uh, during the month of April. Uh, as, 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 as the Commission, we looked at uh, the options, Chair, we subjected our discussions to the HR Committee, uh, which is the HR and Remuneration Committee, to look at issues of remuneration during the COVID-19. Chair, just to put a caveat on what I'm saying, you will all remember that during the lockdown period, uh, the CGE was identified as one of the Chapter 9 institutions that was not just staying on the phone, but was also offering services. Uh, was, was offering a service chair. So we were working, but we were working from home, both as part and full time. So we looked at this matter chair, and we had recommendations that came from the HR committee. And that HR committee, we then uh, subjected to those recommendations to the broader plenary, um, and we approved payment of full-time and part-time commissioners during COVID-19 period. And that payment uh, that was approved, Chair, was the 100% payment for, for part-time commissioners and the full payment for full-time commissioners. And over and above that, Chair, I think we have been requesting the submission of the commissioners' monthly plans. And I think this is also something that uh, we did not submit, Chair. But I think in terms of the work that we have been doing during the lockdown was that we've been submitting monthly plans just to show the areas and the work that we have been doing, whether we are working remotely or working from home and the meetings that have been conducted during this time. I think this is how we addressed it, Chair, uh, the issue of payment of commissioners, part-time versus full-time commissioners. Okay. Okay, um, um, for as long as it's it, it, it's your decision, your yeah, 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 commission, uh, Tina, we, we'll be fine. If uh, uh, as commissioners, that's what, that is your understanding and that's what you have agreed upon as commissioners, uh, because uh, if that's your understanding, then, but if ever there's, it's not your understanding, so let's discuss it and uh, and 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 conclude on it. If still there are issues people want to raise, okay. The next one, Honourable uh, Chairperson, uh, Commissioner oh. Matabula, Chairperson, there was oh. a point added here on whether we have declared if we are full time additional work. Can I add to this because I'm directly affected in okay. this point? All right. Thank you, honourable members. Honourable members, um, I joined the commission in 2017. I was appointed at that time as a full-time commissioner by the president then uh, to serve CGE. At the time, Commissioner Nare was the chairperson of CGE. When I joined CGE, uh, the first meeting, they explained the handbook and the regulation around the handbook. I was very clear to uh, state that I was working at the time as uh, academic at the University of Stellenbosch at the business school. I was told about the procedures that you must undergo, undertake in the event that you would want to continue working part time. Therefore, I went through the process that was uh, outlined in the handbook. The handbook guidelines state that any remunerative, remunerative work that a commissioner who is full time would earn must one declare and two make the necessary submission to get this, the permission of the commission. So it's not just enough to declare. Mm -hmm. I then went through that process. What I've done is I submitted a letter. The university submitted a letter. We openly declared my uh, work with the university. Uh, the chairperson at the time then responded with the supplementary list of questions and we provided the answers of all these in, in writing uh, and then I was granted the permission. We changed my contract 
from a full-time contract because I was full-time at the university. I'm now part-time at the university. I'm still an academic. I have disclosed this to the uh, to the Commission for Gender Equality. The permission was granted by the chairperson Nare. I've done this again with the incumbent chairperson, Commissioner Matebula, Chairperson Matebula. I again made the same process. I declared as I'm required by the handbook. I submitted the remuneration. I've also submitted and declared also the commitments I have with Stellenbosch. The chairperson Matebula made uh, secondary questions in relation to this. She was also aware as a commissioner because before she was chairperson, she was a commissioner. But because of her role, I had to go through the process that is undertaken in the hope in the handbook and not do it as as a as, as a, a colleague. The process was also approved. Both times the chairpersons have approved my uh, my work with the university. The second point I want to add is that I've been given the necessary uh, permission because I do not want to be found in a situation where it would appear that I'm working without the approval of the commission. Secondly, without the knowledge of the commission. I also unfortunately ended up in a unfortunate situation with one of the commissioners laying a complaint against me because of the uh, work I was doing at the Stellenbosch University. In the process of the allegations, it was Commissioner Smout who made the allegations. It was very difficult process where my conduct was targeted and uh, allegations were made about my conduct, which I won't go into all the full detail, but it resulted in an arbitration process uh, that took place beginning of the year in January, where again, Commissioner Smart was shocked that the submission was made that I had the permission to work in the USB and that I'd also sought the approval of the chairs and all the chairs, and I declared it repeatedly in all the annual um, years where we are required to make the declarations. Uh, the engagement uh, from what I had understood was that it was closed. She withdrew certain allegations because now new information had reached her. And uh, minutes that were then done and circulated by the CEO, which I'd hoped would uh, record the conciliatory nature of that meeting, did not necessarily record that. Uh, she sent them two months later, but that is not the point. I think that uh, the chairperson is the one who can maybe allay as to the finalization of that process because it directly links to this issue of my remunerative work at uh, Stellenbosch. But I continue to declare openly to all commissioners, even to uh, even the members of the portfolio committee, I'm willing to submit every documentation from the CGE that is relating to this matter. I've also asked the chairperson to allay to the staff who have been involved in this process by the commissioner's mark because my integrity has been affected uh, and my name has been smeared through this process, uh, even though I have gone through every process at length Sought, sought the necessary per permission, Grant, gone, gone through the commissioner handbook, made the necessary declaration. Uh, but I found that the charges were then withdrawn. A lot of these things fell away, but nothing has been done to clear me and to clear those uh, management who have now been invo involved in this process, perhaps who shouldn't have, have been involved. So I wanted just to allay to the members that this is how I've been working. I think the last seven months has been a very difficult time for me. But I think it's over now. But I do want us to continue to do the work of CGE and focus on the programs. Uh, my work that is part time with uh, Stellenbosch will continue. And it doesn't in any way negate my performance. Uh, the chair will have to, uh, perhaps maybe she can comment, but my work at the CGE is in no way affected. The limited time that I spend there, a lot of the work I do after hours, and I make sure that my outputs are not depleted in any way and I don't hinder in any way the work that is required of me and it doesn't clash and the agreements are in the letters that come from the commission and the CGE that explain what is expected of me. In no way do I deplete my duties, the mandate and the role that is required. And in, in and when there is a clash, CGE takes first preference always. I just want to uh, conclude with those words, uh, members and to the commissioners. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Deputy Chair. Um, I think, uh, you know, some of the things that you have said, uh, I met with an honorable smout. She requested a meeting with me 
and and I'm abreast with most of the issues, and uh, I'm not going to go there uh, because I met with her before she resigned, and uh, she 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 raised a lot of things, and uh, but I know that issue also. But me, I don't want to get into it. Uh, but uh, I just wanted to inform you as commissioners that uh, before she resigned, she had a, a meeting with me, and she 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 raised issues in even her frustrations. That's why it's important for us as the portfolio committee that uh, we assist you as commissioners. That uh, you must have a, 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 a good working relationship most of the time. Um, Honourable. Somebody, yes, sir. Okay, it's still Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, Thank you for the opportunity of uh, making this meeting available for us. One, I must say, uh, I joined the city in 2014 up to 2018 as a part-time commissioner, and I was granted the second term of being commissioner from 2019 to 2020. But why I'm coming in is to say disability is not a one-size-fits-all honorable members and colleagues. I had find it very difficult. I raised it with the chair, I raised it with the CEO. I have had a, a number of meetings uh, making CGE clear that why do I have, why do I have to have a, P, a PA? Disability is very vast. And albinism has just been declared a disability in South Africa. And that is why when I went for my second interview, I did indicate, Chair, if you remember, that I would like to be full-time. The reasons of being full-time is that disability is not even understood in CGE. There are no mechanisms that look after all the disabilities, save albinism. And I have found myself struggling and suffering the whole eight months of my second term. In the first term, I had my daughter as my personal assistant because she understood every point. But towards the end, it was cut. It was discussed on the plenary of 2018 in November, the 4th and the 5th. Those, mis those minutes were never read or never found out in CGE. SCGE. What I'm trying to bring to this uh, forum today is that my reasonable accommodation starts from a small thing of documents being enlarged. That is done after I request several times. Not having an assistant, I have to struggle to have a car for transport. The chairperson has assisted many times where you find I cannot go to where I'm supposed to be because there's no car available. So I'm pleading with the CGE, it is unacceptable that I'm still without an assistant. And the, the, the CEO has not having a, is not having a, a, a PA, but somebody is acting in that post. And with me, I'm just left to suffer. And that is why I'm saying the discrimination and the, 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 the unavailability of assisting people with, with disabilities in this country has a lot to be desired. Why I say let's work with disability to understand. Honorable Mobo asked to say, how are the disabled people get the documents from CGE? CGE never assisted, assist blind people. All our reports are in small print. All our reports are, are glossy. I, this, I, Why? Why is this Thomas Sondo? Because Nina Nide. What, 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 yes. what makes it Aguna, to be implemented? Chairperson, Aguna Male Allocate 
izwi labantu abakhubazekile nakube ni portfolio yabantu abakhubazekile abantu abakhubazekile baza always as an afterthought oh habo mama abantu aba yinja nabakhubazekile we are working very hard in this country as disabled people to have our own act so that we can be understood how, how are you going to ensure that those a, a discrimination acts are being eliminated because you I'm working are very hard. The, that is why you are the committee that must ensure if Nina yes. you are failing in you are failing to implement what is supposed to be implemented by yourselves and amongst yourselves that then check. that's a very big problem and and, and I don't I, I find it very you. strange but why is your matter and Babu Porta not concluded up until today? But people have been 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 all along. Who let the previous? Remember, Nina, we are not new, 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 new commissioners. Why Labant Laba have been seven since last? Why we are continuing? Chair, uh, Chair, can I come Chair, in? Yes. I said in. Well, I'm still on the on the on the floor. I said to you, disability is not a one size fits all. Commissioner Porter, when she was asked to say, what are your uh, reasonable accommodations? She said, I am fine. I just need somebody who can write reports for me. And me, I had declared to the chair, I declared to uh, the, 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 the commissioners that I cannot go on. And she was not re-accepted because the CEO kept on saying to say, no, it was an audit query. No, it was that. So, chair, I'm saying to you, I'm working tirelessly the chair will tell you that i work tirelessly to say how and when am i going to be given that reasonable accommodation all commissioners are aware each and every commissioner is aware even if when they they, they put it on the screen nobody will say no it's blue and green and yellow commissioner must will not be on but they should do a simple thing print my documents make them large print and I could be accommodated. So I have fought and I've worked. That is why we are saying we are not a team because the team of people who know that there's no Masonto who needs to have accommodated, I have to shout. But as let me tell you, as we walk as now, my reasonable accommodation must be done, not working for, not waiting for financial years for, for what? Because it's a prerequisite. And, Chair, in the month of June, there was June 13, which is an albinism, international albinism month a day. That was not done in South Africa. I've worked, the independent expert came to South Africa. Thank you to Dr. Klaling and Commissioner Porter, who sat with me. But Secretariat don't value issues on disability. That is why I'm saying to you, I have stressed it and I will not tire to advocate and work for people with disabilities. Thank you, Chair. No, 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 no. This is not totally unacceptable. This one is totally unacceptable. Chairperson, Deputy Chair and CEO and all commissioners, you know this one, it hurts. Uh, Chairperson, can I come in? Oh, 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 this one is unacceptable. You can't be dealing with these issues and you fail to address and to attend to one of your own. This is highly wrong. And whatever the CEO said, it was an audit query. Audit queries are made so that you can go to the Auditor General and explain on why certain things are done this way. AG is not a monster. When they sent audit queries, if that's what is happening to all departments. It's your responsibility to go and explain to them what this thing is done according to this. 
so that they, they are able to exempt it or to, 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 to understand everything that you are doing. You are the ones who must go and explain. Why is it happening now? Why in the previous term was not happening? No. No, please don't do that. You must deal with this thing as a matter of agents. As agent as possible. This thing must be closed now. No, you can't do that. You can't treat other people like that. So there's inequality, even amongst yourselves as commissioners. Easy peasant, what are the things that you are making a priority? Which are the things that you don't make a priority? So it goes back to this thing. No, you can't work like that. That's inhuman. So well, it's worse because it's even there in your books. No. No. Babu Pos. Well, Chairperson, I, I wanted to, uh, because I think in fairness, I'm here and I, I should speak for myself as well. And I want to say that uh, when I arrived 2014, um, at the CGE as a part-time commissioner, by the way, so that the chairperson then, Commissioner Shozi, um, has made it possible that uh, I negotiate, um, that a, a secretariat do assist me. That means, therefore, that people take time, and my office in Limpopo, uh, the provincial manager, uh, because the CEO has all, always made sure that uh, I am assisted. That's the one thing, I mean, in terms of writing my reports, but also uh, with uh, mobility, with transport, I can say that Commissioner uh, Matebula and uh, the CEO have made it possible that I am able to travel to my province, uh, either I drive or fly. Uh, so, Chairperson, in as far as uh, me being assisted, uh, the as, as a commissioner, uh, Masibu had said, uh, our needs are different. But I want to state now on the record that the chairperson of the commission has been forthright, has has in fact gone an extra mile to make sure that my office in Limpopo they set aside time. I mean, I have a special device, a a, a tablet that. The, the commission went out to procure for me, both because Commissioner Shozi has been the forefront and the CEO to allocate funding. So I think that that must be on record that the commission has, on many occasions, made it possible that my working environment is conducive. Chairperson, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Babu Potha. Okay, can we move to Prime Minister Sandlang Mkumbang? Yes, Chairperson. Okay. Um, thank you, Chairperson, and afternoon, uh, members of the Portfolio Committee, and my colleagues. I'm I'm happy that Masibuko spoke and Buata spoke, and if you listen to both of them, you can deduce that there is clear inequalities in terms of the treatment. Buata says, uh, Commissioner Buata says he has been assisted. Commissioner Basibuko is not being assisted. So it's very clear that we are not working as a team. We are working as individuals. And some are given preferences in our treatment, in, in the treatment. And this shows our disjointed way of working. I don't recall the issue of Commissioner Masibuko being discussed in our HR committee meetings. Because if it was brought in that committee, it was going to be resolved by the committee. But it was not brought in our HR committee meetings. So I will propose that Maybe it, 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 uh, it's, been, uh, it's taken back to our HR committee for it to be resolved and closed down as a matter of agency, as you propose, uh, uh, Chairperson. But we should not come to you as, as, as if we are a team. We come to you today as individuals. We are not a team. We cannot pretend being a team. We are disjointed. And by the way we are doing things and the way we are responding to you, I'm sure you can even see that we are disjointed. So 
We want assistance from you to assist us to build a team. We are now just individuals who have been placed at CGE. We are not a team. I wanted to submit on that, uh, Chairperson. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, 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 Commissioner Sidiko. Figile, on honorable whip. Oh, before we let let me take uh, Commissioner Trobatla. Yes, thank you very much, Chair. The speakers that have indicated that there are a lot of inequalities within our organization. That is so true. And that also at the same time make it difficult for us to do what we are called to do for the country as a whole. Just to give you a simple example, Chairperson, in the report that was given last when we were in front of you, there was a portion that was saying we, as far as the media platform is concerned, we have articles, we have opinions, and all those things that were was reported. I chose to keep quiet because as a person, I was highly disturbed by that. In August, for an example, I wrote an opinion that was talking, let me just mention those opinions quickly, opinions and articles that I wrote as a commissioner. One was dealing with COVID-19, addressing the inequalities in South Africa. The other one was around customary marriage and widowhood. The other article that I wrote was the state of gender-based violence at the institutions of higher learning. I have it on paper and so are the other officials, I mean, commissioners, where a report came back from the chair and also individual communication that they went through the editorial committee and they were approved for publishing. And to my surprise, I keep on writing these articles, but they never see the light of the day. And when a commissioner sits down and writes a particular opinion or an article, it's because you see a need somewhere. You see the importance of that this particular information will transform the life of somebody or will assist somebody. But there are commissioners within CGE whose articles and opinions will go out. Then we have those that they'll keep on writing and it's one excuse after the other, nothing goes out to the public. I can email you those articles directly. You'll be shocked because Maverick said they are good. Somebody from City Press said they are good. They want to publish them under my name as a person. Then I said, no, I'm comfortable. CGE? Who is blocking them? Who's supposed to publish them? And who is blocking them? I think that chairperson is best place to respond because me now what I do, I submit to the chairperson, the deputy chairperson, and the spokesperson. Who's blocking who them? I don't know. But but, but the report I got from Chairperson Matebula on those articles, it's that articles and opinions, is that they were approved for publishing by the editorial committee. Like now, Chairperson, I've written a nice article, but I haven't finished it. It's saying COVID-19 and its gender perspective. I just got discouraged. I said, why am I writing these things? because they never see the light of the day. Inequalities are very common within CGE. Watch your ENCA chairperson, watch your SAPC, and all the news channels that you see on TV. You see one or two commissioners always appearing. There are commissioners that were never even given the opportunity either to be on radio or to be on TV discussing about things that we are good at and the, the, the country as a whole can benefit from them. That never happens at CGE. And it's not about us, Chairperson, as individuals or as commissioners. When the president appointed us, he didn't appoint us to be self-centered. He gave us a clear mandate that we should transform the gender inequalities that are out there, deal with issues of gender, transformation. We have a strict mandate that is legislated 
our job, we need to respect, defend the Constitution and be accountable to the Constitution and the law. That is not happening. And it makes people sad. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Commissioner Trovatla. Um, yeah, sometimes it's because when you present China Sialale, Honorable Gweba, uh, 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 Honorable Masiko, Honorable Mamkaula. I'm mm, Gobo Chaperson. Oh, Babu Gobo, sorry. Thank you, Chair. You know, two, two issues. You know, listening to the presentation by the commissioners, one will agree with your first statement in terms of working relationship amongst our commissioners. And uh, from the reports, on progress made. You, you can hear that no, there's no there's no there's no teamwork. And it's something that uh, we must be honest as honorable members as this portfolio committee that uh, you know we can't um, listen to the CGE. <coughs> You know, I was perusing the, the, the previous uh, meetings with them when we have been, uh, you know, commending uh, their sterling work by commissioners. But uh, today, you know, I've got, a, 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 you know, a different, uh, you know, I've listened to a different story that uh, something is not right. And, um, you know, you, you in fact, uh, one will say a chair. Firstly, on the deployment, I think the, 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 the deployment that has been sent to us just while we are logging in to this meeting, it must be revisited. And you can't deploy a, a, a someone who reside in, 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 in Eastern Cape, especially for, uh, at this at this pandemic era to to how think we must revisit the, the, their deployment and uh, secondly so that at the end of the day we must take uh, issues of uh, service delivery very serious and uh, you know the, the, this current deployment will render some of these commissioners useless I think it must be revisited. It must be revisited. Must it must be revisited? You know. And secondly, uh, 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 and uh, honourable members, uh, you know, my worry is the working relations amongst yourselves, especially now that uh, our country has has increased gender-based violence and femicide. And uh, now there are some other issues. I think also the, the issues and administrative issues, especially the HR, they must be attended to by yourselves, uh, uh, chair, and the, the deputy chair and the CEO as a matter of ages. We can't have commissioners who come and complain in front of this committee that I don't have a, 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 a PA. I can't do my work because you know there, there are issues in my in my in my unit. I think uh, it must those issues in the next meeting they must be attended to, and we can't listen to you know because when I listen to your to your, to some of the commissioners, they are working in a frustrated environment because it seems as if there's no teamwork. So I think, Chair, you know, in the next meeting, the, all, these, all these issues, especially issues of administrative issues, they must be attended to. 
And I know in all the meetings of the uh, of the of this portfolio committee with the CTE, we've been raising the the the, the issue issues of uh, uh, persons with disabilities. And every time when we raise those issues, you know the response from the 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 the, the, the CTE were not hundred percent. And now I can pick up issues that somewhere somehow there are issues somewhere. So, uh, colleagues, I think um, in the next meeting we must uh, get, you know, we must get um, something else, not what we've been listening today. Seemingly, there, there are issues. Honestly, there's no teamwork. There's preference. I think, I, I, as a as a member of this portfolio committee, I agree with one commissioner that was grandly clear that. There's, there's preferences in, your, in, in terms of, of doing things in, your, in, your, in, your, in, your, in your, the CGE, and there's no teamwork. And at the end of the day, we will not deliver a, a, as expected, you know, by government. If you can't uh, deal with your issues, it can't, be, it can't be that when you deal with issues of, uh, of our people, they are and the best work for Anna. I think something some some somehow you know the, the input by the chair i thought that no we must listen to your presentation but i can tell you now in my in my i have concluded that there's something that is not right there's no leadership in the cge that we must deal with it as this portfolio committee chair thank you but in terms of the deployment it must be revis revisited thank you chair yeah, I agree with you. Good to reject your deployment. You must go work on your deployment, review it, deploy, deploy people according to where they are residing and according to where they are going to be efficient and effective. We are not uh, uh, mistaken we are, when we are recommending you according to geographical spread and, effect, and effectiveness. We wanted you to make an impact to the lives of our people and to CGE itself. Um, Honorable Masigo. Thank you very much, Honorable Chairperson. I don't know whether I'm audible. Yes, you are. Okay. Thank you very much, Chair. I think, Chairperson, firstly, let us really thank the opportunity for us to engage with CGE in this manner. You know, previously we, we've been receiving reports mainly dealing with uh, the work that CGE is, is, is doing to obviously effectively effectively promote and protect gender equality, Chairperson. But one thing that we need to also bring to the fore is that the work of CGE can never be done effectively as an organization if we are hearing concerns such as this, Chairperson. I think the issue of corporate governance is the make or break in any organization that hopes to be to do work successfully and implement their deliverables effectively and ensure that they make the life of women or improve the life of, of women, children, and the vulnerable chairperson. It is of great concern that we are hearing that there is generally a, 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 um, you know areas of weaknesses within the actual organization and the manner in which we treat the, 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 the commissioners themselves. It's an area, Chairperson, that I'm requesting us to focus on. Though our work as a portfolio committee is not interfering in the running of the organization, but if there are matters that hinder the performance of the organization, then as a portfolio committee chairperson, we have the full right to go in and investigate and ensure that there is improvement in the manner in which the organization is run and managed. I'm very concerned, chairperson, but as a member of, of this portfolio committee and this portfolio committee, it's our responsibility to ensure that everything works for the better good of the organization and the people of South Africa. Um, and that's what we should be doing. And I'm really shocked uh, to hear reports such as this. I really was not expecting it to be coming from ECGE, knowing that we've had good reports 
and we hear of the good work that they are doing. But we know that there is going to be compromising of the work when the organization is really facing challenges such as these. Chairperson, in terms of uh, the part-time commissioners, I, I, I'm really, maybe I missed it somewhere, but I think it's important for us to get a full and thorough report. In terms of the, hand, the, the, the we're getting reports that they get paid per hour. I'd like to know on average how many hours to, to, to part-time commissioners a, 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 a work so that we are able to, you know, also calculate on average how much work do they put in and how much, you know, a, 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 a returns do they get uh, for the work that, that, that they are doing. Chairperson, we did receive a plan because I remember that we've always been asking for the plan and the deployment of commissioners and the work that they are doing in provinces. And the, the, I think the report that we received, Chairperson, the last time, for me, it, it really isn't um, satisfactory. I would like to get a detailed report because I think it, it is where we are able to then say that this is where the, the, the tire hits the road so that we know each commissioner and the work that they do and the challenges that they are facing in ensuring that they are able to execute their duties that are assigned to them. You know, if anyone would come from outside and listen to what we have listened to today, you would really come to the conclusion that there is really a, 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 an, an element of a divided organization. There is really an element of, 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 of inequality within the organization itself. And that is not what we want to be, be playing oversight over a broken organization. The, 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 the machine needs to be well oiled, Chairperson, in that what you do to the left hand, uh, what is good for the, the goose must also be good for the gander. And that means that each commissioner must, must feel to a certain extent that they, they are treated the same as any other commissioner in the organization. I'm not going to venture into the one year disability, Chairperson, because for me, it's something that we shouldn't even be speaking about. It really has broken my heart to hear commissioners who are not, you know, I mean, for me, employment of, 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 of a personal assistant, in fact, or any other, should not even take, you know, a, 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 as long as it has taken. I'm now thinking that, oh, my God, what's going to happen now? Because we have to be looking into the processes of starting to, 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 to appoint a CEO. It means that if we're unable to employ, appoint a mere PA in a period that is, is given, then it means that it will take us two to three years to employ a CEO of, for, for the organization. I think we really need to work a, 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 a on this, and it must be done, Chairperson, as soon as possible. I think the report that... that, that we received um, in terms of the, the, the contributions of, of the, 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 um, the commissioners. It doesn't reflect, Chairperson, in terms of the quarterly report, um, because we did mention that, no, we do have a plan, and the plan is the APP. That's not what we want, Chairperson. It then means that I will wake up tomorrow morning, and, 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 and as a commissioner, I then say, okay, I will try and do this, and I will try and do that towards meeting the, the, the objectives of the APP. It doesn't work like that. We need each work allocated to a commissioner so that they know that they go to sleep, waking up tomorrow morning, and these are the tasks that they are supposed to be fulfilling. We need a plan, Chairperson, that attaches roles and responsibilities to each commissioner's in the area in which they are deployed. That is what we need as, as a portfolio committee when we've requested the plan. So the plan that we've received really is not, it's, it's not a, a fulfilling why the, or, or the reasons why we, we had actually requested for, for the plan. But Chairperson, I'm very disappointed, uh, 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 but it is an opportunity for us to, 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 to work towards improving the, the relations amongst the, the commissioners themselves so that we are able to get a, a commission that is able to fulfill its, its roles and responsibilities and its duties to the people of South Africa. Thank you, Chairperson. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Masiko. Um, in fact, um, the one of uh, the advert for the CEO, uh, whoever is responsible must tell us uh, the roadmap uh, in the appointment of uh, CEO. We have, we have seen your advert. And uh, we also want to see if uh, we, whether we have applied to DBSA uh, for 
a secondment of another person if you yourselves you are not able to appoint another person to be acting after the lapse a contract as CEO because there's no way that will encourage you to to uh, extend the contract as CEO when she's the incumbent. We are not going to promote that. We have done it to Unare as the chairperson. You cancelled her contract immediately when her term of office lapsed. So you are going to apply what you have applied to one of, of the commissioners. So, um, so yet yeah, another thing, but you need to prepare yourself. But as, 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 as commissioners, you are going to appoint an acting... A, 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 because when I look at your advert, when are you going to finalize it? It, it tells you that come uh, 1st of August, you wouldn't be done by uh, 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 with the process of uh, appointing a new CEO. So these things, you must work with them now. Uh, whether you are going to appoint another person, Nina, as commissioners to act, or you are going to apply to DBSA to second somebody to come and act as CEO immediately, in lapsa. It contract CEO end of uh, July. So, Honorable uh, Masiko, and I think uh, Commissioner Zigo, you should be telling us how far are you with the, the, that roadmap? Because we don't want stories. Because maybe you were thinking that we are not serious. We are serious about these issues now. Because all, 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 all departments and entities that are reporting to us directly, we are very uh, skeptical. Oguti, you meet deadlines. There is no way that we are going to give you a look. You know what worries me, honorable members? It's like uh, uh, things that were supposed to be uh, 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 implemented by administration. Uh, some commissioners are being undermined. And you know, it's you chair and the deputy chair who makes administration to undermine other commissioners because this is under your watch under your leadership you are the ones who are sitting there with them and 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 and, and listening to all these things you know it it, it makes it, it it gives us many it leaves us with many questions honorable babungo Uh, thank you, Chairperson. Chairperson, firstly, I would like to also share my concern regarding the working relationship amongst commissioners. I don't think it should be an acceptable situation where people or commissioners are working in silos. They should be working together. And that is not in the best interest of the many women in South Africa who look up to the Commission for Solutions. Uh, and on the issue of Umamu, I, I, I think that this her story is very painful. And we should also note that it's not only painful, but also unlawful. Because if you're looking at legislation like Pepuda, Section 9, Subsection C, it it's prohibits discrimination in the workplace, uh, especially on the, on the basis of a disability, and it also mandates anyone who's in charge of the workplace to reasonably accommodate the needs of persons with disabilities. So I really think that we must give this matter the attention that it deserves, and perhaps also come up with timelines. Ask the Commission when are they going to have this matter discussed at the HR, and when are they going to get back to us. And propose, the, propose, propose a timeline, a time frame. Uh, I, I don't know. Two I'm weeks is enough. Two weeks is enough. Yeah, yeah no, I think it is enough. Uh, it's enough. The person I agree. So maybe you can say two weeks, then they get back to us on what they would have done. Uh, the last point that I wanted to make is, is on the uh, on the the revised deployment list that they are going to send back to us, and I'll ask that the commission also includes or indicates who is time who is full time and who is part time and also give us further information on where each commissioner's office if there's any office is located in each province so if there's an office in case in case of 10 can they then indicate to us where is that office located and also the contact details of each uh, commissioner so that when we need them we can get hold of them uh, easy thanks Jefferson.
Thank you very much, uh, 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 Honorable Ngobo. Mam Kaula. Thanks. Uh, Before I forget, the papers that uh, Honorable uh, Commissioner Trobatla was talking about. Uh, can you can you tell us, uh, Chair and Deputy Chair, why were those not published, and where are they? And uh, 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 they need to be published, and but also send them to us as the portfolio committee too. We have interest in reading them. Mam Kaula. And Gibbon Gastano. Yes, Ronald. Yeah, yeah, Buma. Yeah, and Gibbon Gastano. No man say, Sengi Pategambi, a moyenuami. Vele is in the same Kuma as a dozen be and Zinzi, Makota Sanga Sengube, Nanya Troma Sengi Toli, the Mangabe, Gilalela, a commissioner, Umamma's book. Lento e combis and Oxobala, a cheapers in Guti, who should lend a tina, a city Sienza, Efan and Umdal, and your Nomanga Bell and Oxobal, which think I quite less is in two matters for the tennis disease and athletes and I was good as it go through. Like Mkamba, my Yama case, or Sugat, the Sinao, Suafagua Bonta Hamba, Pedele, a Oban, Ibsung, the Zami, Kakulum, Mamma's Bongo, or Kalaja. Unom teto oti la isa tafrika abantu abakuba zegili bona boka lofu na maba pegelele mangzo tolo kutu mama zibugo unalezi kalu na mge akuzele kutu utu wiks siyakela bat mabebu ya babu ya sebe sichelu tu bailungi silinda bayaki bese ngzo nge na lana eslano ogunye engi funu kukala nga kulano kutu enje nga bantu abantu bamele abantu besifaza na batu umezega batu umezega laibu siya bona basa kubega kale pans baya reisho baya bulawa si zule nengane eno three months or two three years ganja lu tolu ti reishiwe ya bulawa ukutu ngempela Lazi sinto yinas na zenza uguti squazu mluisa na nazo. If ngempela manga besi na ma o komishna betu, especially lo mnyanga besi utembi lo aga si jii, uguti bona baste benzi, ugbambi sana, bakombi sutuka na pagati. Kune skalo la skalo, nkoli usuti nfiki nene. Lana, eh, kuna makei sama nina, tola kantenze la ngenda bagacho wala. Eh, si good lockdown manje. Manja got a sneaking, I would to hold many. Oh, Yena Nayo, Oguazi, look pegged, and would am a case of maningi, Oxona Gabant, Ungabu Ratio, and Rabbin Tony, good one. Got a way, Manja, Yen, Ubo, Nutibuvule, and the good one. You found a was good, eh? Tinag and Jenga, Jobas Kanagle, Likomiti. Siti ningo chwalo ba kui manja asla lu chwala kufutuwa vule only Monday to Thursday. Kutu tote malokshi nu chwala kupuzwa one way. I, I zolo njo e eh, wat 66 in tole i case yo mama. O o o o be tuku mezi wa indo tati yo puzi. Fige bisuki zonge na inkani. Ma be fige bandu agano bienze. Ma be sebe zofie kaiti etu biza mapoisa. Bese mtukumezwa amko shenzi. Na mapoisa anga mlekelela lo mamitu no. Hamba we na gunoma uzo lo kuza. Ungaze gufe umte sfazan. Dimko baga chwala. Ogu unye la stalo. Sisakulu mange lockdown. Inga nizongi ndazi afekta banda abandu sfazan. O komishna bo nabalapo. Ogilo kuga chwala. Ngufuna banga bashu kutibagu upinga ako. Ugufu ula kwa ikona. Inga ne. Kutuazi hambe zi eskulini. Kwa otwa, kube i parlamenta ni nga ama office ama ni nga gaga vula. Uguti ngempela, ngempela, uhulmeni okona. Gabe uya ikaba ngelimpi ila ye ingane pambili no mkaba ngelane no tisha utobu. Ngoba kui manje kineni. Kune sbali sa stode gile na ikole la ikeze tene la ibalo logo 53. Oktuwa zivali, zivali unge ngale sifu. Oba gunya gung patagambi, a high court light a winkusme street. Before Nero Abanyo Abantu Besfaz and Goba, who should buy us to scorn as the Akanaglin commit? But Mam Kaulas is sinking in like high court. Who figure lag what Tolagala Umuntu or Yuani and Alessi Sifo? What test? What an amtang to us, we are the source of Benzang in Kan. 
asihloli wetina akukabu ingishi mpumele kanjalo nama supermarket la itegwini chepa sini gia kailu kuti again wazi eni kutezi nizi ndo standwa sam angilu and gitabu wakangane ngo sichi i besi nengkinga yoguti besi kala nange imalu kuti e ezi nizi tunga wazi kutafeza ama kuhulu kuzona la kama keisi Tambe abe vuli uto dufuna gasuge la itewini ahambe ya nongo mabayo bopu mtu dufuna gala le hotel koti imala yiku beskala nguti bane nkinga ye imalu kuti e abanazo koto wake manje bona mabenga zwani nga paga atube kombisa uguta basta ngeene bona kobo kona banya babatu wa maza yunga paga ati sizo kwa zganja niti nguti suba lege lele labe ne nkinga kwa imanje nge kese nje lana ku komishna Commissioner, I tell you, we have officers at CGE. We have more by the Marquis ago Dandy, ago. Got a guy in down. Get my good Lomnyango. I will not your demand. Yeah, but since we are so arrogant, we are born out of the Benga Sangem. And we are coming to the Marquis. I'm sorry, we shall end. If we come to the Marquis, born out of the Benga Lento, we are born. Imi dabaga mama zimuge nipata gabi. Hivi ni kwa lena kama moleko. Tabisi tokta tabisi engi. Ayu mpati gati kumina ifili gati kumina ngomba. Ageko ngazi. Laba mtu bonga nga skatwe tatwa. Nisi kui panelu. Sasi ba tatwa wa sasi funa kwa nzegele umsebe nzi wetu. Umutu uzo kwa zanja nukusebe nza. Echepa sin ifu. Enga kwa zi kuleka. Hize ongo zonke tezi nipata gabi mbilezi. And in the other hand, I will tell you about the and the bona u chair, not a bit chair. Sang at the cool of the leg bone. Funaga bag zam goose chair with yinning in Gayabo. Go over Uxabens, Sanaguabo, Longa seven sanguab, Uxon Zamzo was good to be in Pumelet. What if my bang a seven sand? Ngega kube koni pumela. Kwe manje ngea pinde. Kale pansi lente yoko repa kwa bandu. Na laba ba abalo kuzan. Aba aba kuba zegile baya tukume nyimezu. Aga kombi sela kuti. Baya stoni page tina. Koni tengi tandi leche. Le yoko titina. Siku bandu pansi. Abandu beza tina. Asiti masutukuli zinto si bona zenze. Hile ga chwala. Gifunu kutiba ikulu mtu. Waiba ketelu uchwala. Na laba reko na ba kupa na laba mason, dangi shooting ulana mason. Sebe kali le na ba food, ba nengkinga special laba maten. Abaksala le msu au sa zuguaga la no makelo anekal. Ba guzogo shayo twelve from subi dali king lezinto zab. Asilu nengkol. Thank you very much, Mam Kaula. Thank you very much. Shall shall. Ebo eb. Okay okay. Then umam kaulu kulu mega sega kulu ending gezu guti impela agwa aga alunjongo banje esho. But angas be 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 saying saba nubiza ne otas. Salugu ne tenga ne fanege si lungi se because as parliamentarians we have a responsibility to inform the public correctly. Sal lenda ba yoku la we parliament ne kol. I think in terms of it 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 is misinformation, chairperson, if we would leave it unchallenged. To say that city equally, I will go to parliament. The anger will. We all know, honourable chairperson, that the parliament is open. But while it is open, we are observing the social distance or other regulations. In that, there must be social distancing. As a result, there are numbers which are allocated to to political parties to say that ANC brings 50 people. A DA brings so many people, EFF brings so many people, and the rest will do it on a, a virtual platform. Parliament is open, Parliament is operating, Chairperson. It will be incorrect for us to say that CC Ecoli will even equal Kuvule U grade 7, no grade 12, so that we are able to, uh, to observe the regulations in terms of social distancing. We need to correct that, Chairperson, and not give a narrative that is incorrect to the public. Gabong. Thank you very much. Uh, 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 I think you said it more fully. It's it's like that. Parliamentary fully, we we are working, we are observing social distancing. All uh, of us. Uh, sorry, share. Sorry, share. Share. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Musa, umfunisha lo kulumala. 
We have one of my saying him challenge smanga, manje. There's a kuna e call a lana menanga tatela zone. We are a bond is injured and the final and a base of Uliu. Yes. Ogunya and Jalos Cado, he no kugo guza. Labo three fifty baban, Tabanta back to the guza wab. Edben forty, Nalabo three hundred and fifty about ten years of about to lead. Stalo Gabuk send the eight tombes a banta bandabanga to the guza. And the land of Ibu Thungu go by Egu Trinem. It can be Sibagati Nagam Santa Swenzo, Mr. Benzo, Naksan de la Slano, Gaza Sandela, no Minister of our Social Development. Even his dinners are bound to Abatu Pegayo, about a total book, so some young ones of traffic. Chaperson, Minan Gibonis, so to Kuzova Nandi, those Kulumas Kulum, a band to buy Lambilla, Babatola Trumpet and Fifty Baba, a band to buy Lambilla, Babatola, my parcel food tab. Chaperson, Scala Gongales was in the Nisabens. Okay, thank you very much, Mam Kaula. I think you. Uh, Honourable, we are, we are right uh, in terms of the things that you have forwarded to me and which we have also forwarded to the Department of Social Development. But in terms of whether it parliamentary value or parliamentary value now we as yes, yes, we've been working, in fact, and uh, Parliament also it's subjected to uh, its social distancing, which we must also abide by the the regulations. Uh, the Lukujan, the the social distancing. Uh, so there's no way that all of us 400 members will go to parliament. You know, Sonke Siyaz Leo, Honourable Masigo. In terms of that, uh, 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 in fact, all of us. In fact, Tina, as a portfolio committee, we have made our submissions. Uh, to the command team. Uh, 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 so we have even issued out our um, statements, even I think even the CGE, he has issued out his um, statements. Uh, 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 I've seen their statements. And uh, Songe, we are concerned, Mam Kaula. It's not that it's something that we don't talk about. In fact, we, we, we the first day when we, 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 on the unbending of the alcohol, when all of us, each one of you, have seen videos that are despicable, that we are not even proud as women, which we should circulate those videos because those things were degrading our, our, our dignity as women. Because most of them, when you saw them, you know, social media, media it's even worse because they were showing the ones of women, Kakulu, and, and, and as, as a matter of fact, show, but as a Makoskas, he's a Kakulu keeper, you know, as if Amakoskas were drunkards. You know, and we are, you can see with somebody in jail, they are from the city, this is Tunzi, and the lace man. And, 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 God, okay, eh, I see, show, see, Abanya Bantu, Abanga Puz, Abba Puz, Joel, Abanga Puz, Joel, but, yeah, tell a little, we issued a statement, we even, as a portfolio committee, if you remember very well, eh, that's why even with the, and, 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 pending of cigarettes, we have made a submission as a portfolio committee. We got to know, they must not. Yabo, cigarette must be banned and up until Yabo, Gupela, everything. So uh, we have made strides as a portfolio committee. We've been following all these issues, Zabo, GPV, and so on. We've been uh, outspoken about these issues uh, as, as a portfolio committee. And, and, and that's why uh, we even forwarded some of the cases to ECG itself. We got to hear other cases. Uh, please help these people where and where. So that's why it's important which, when we send our cases to CGE, CGE, CGE must follow up. I'm sure the mistake that we have done as a portfolio committee, which, we have never followed up on the cases that we have sent to them, which they must report back to us. All of which mm. I'm, I'm sure this is something that we need to do moving forward. Uh, Bengi kala agute ukomisha laba gebe tinte ngoba kombisi ikole. Bese benge tukfanele nizivule lezi ikole ilaike ZN. Okay. Um, and, okay. And, and also with the, with the issue of, of schools, the minister of basic education was clear. Uguti schools that are not ready to be open, they must not open until they meet all the requirements. Uh, 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 is prescribed you a department. Uh, uh, sorry, Chair. Uh, 
Sorry, Chair. Also, to Uma Makaula, I think as parliamentarians who have been given irresponsibility to make our oversight to all the schools from the first week of June and also on the 8th of June, it's our responsibility as parliamentarians to go for oversight to all the schools in our way we are deployed as parliamentarians. And uh, Mamkaula is also our responsibility as members that in any where you do oversight and uh, you you find such things, Guti, uh, Gunama, things that are not correct, uh, they don't meet AMA requirements, you can also forward them to a command team. Yes, and Mm. I need that human right. Good now come. I'll come be so that forward to the relevant departments and get a feedback. Because uh, if you have raised them, uh, then that means uh, we'll have to uh, take them up and forward them to the relevant departments. I think, uh, uh, honorable members. Uh, okay. Lama ambulance I feel. As in Janga Bantu Mes Fazan, Nibugin Janilian, I Kubegi is to go mezum to us Fazan, no mistunzum dum yam. In Dianzo, Mapuno, but you look dull. Okay, um, maybe we need to look at uh, those things uh, because, you know, we cannot uh, speak about things that we don't know. But at least you can talk about things that uh, have brought have been brought to our attention and raise them uh, uh, accordingly. So, but I think the, the others that uh, CGE themselves they are listening to you. They uh, can at least act on them because they have heard uh, what is happening. But then we, I thought that we are going to give uh, the CFO um, a chance to speak on. The flat, uh, 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 whether you call it a flat rate, the uh, 100 hours, uh, 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 part time commissioners, which you, you know, when and whenever you de you deal with things, you must also check, which I'm again been a audit queries, but also, you know better, which how many hours are your part time commissioners working uh, under normal circumstances? Because we we are not better placed to 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 question whether they are it's right or wrong, but you are better placed. You can explain to us and tell us good to whether it, is it hundred hours or whatsoever. Uh, but also, uh, I get worried when it's only human resource committee, uh, human resource committee, without uh, 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 that took a decision without Mshambe. Uh, 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 the CFO uh, 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 having a discussion in dealing with those matters because in, it's every time when you do things, you must also uh, follow uh, uh, our procedures accordingly so that you avoid unnecessary uh, audit queries. Mm -hmm. But Nina, um, Sambe, if you are given a chance, you can talk to them. Uh, but 
Thank you very much, uh, honorable members. Uh, I think there are things that needs to be done. One, it's the plan. We need your plan in two weeks. We need to be finished with your plan. Um, a detailed plan for commissioners linked to APP and uh, a, a HR report. And I also think that uh, we'll need to get uh, a reviewed uh, deployment list. Um, and again, we need to get a, a report on the issue of uh, our Commissioner Mazibugo within the two weeks. And then um, we need to get a feedback on how are you going to ensure that you, you have we need to get those papers that were supposed to be published, but also we want to see them published. Uh, I think you, you also need to you need to know a road map. Yeah, 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 appointment of the CEO. Go to what is your roadmap? Your roadmap. We need to have that. And any other commissioner who is working full time who have not declared or declared that information, it must we must be finished with it. We don't want to uh, 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 get things on our own. We need you to report to us on those uh, 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 matters. Because if you don't report, you know, say yourself, and uh, Tina, we find ourselves Googling you and, and uh, coming here with the information, it doesn't look uh, professional, it's very clumsy. So uh, just finish us with that, that report. Uh, Honorable uh, uh, Commissioner Muliko, uh, I, I, your, your issue was long time, long so resolved, and and when even when Smout was talking to me, she explained herself what she, uh, 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 some of the things that she raised, and it was resolved. You had a plenary meeting, and uh, she presented the case, and so on. So me, I, I was just uh, 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 not understanding what she, or why was it, were you treated uh, 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 like that, and. It didn't commit any crime. So I, I I thought as commissioners, you have dealt with that matter and it has been closed a long time ago. And uh, if it was not closed a, a long time ago, why? Because by now, uh, 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 I thought uh, 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 we have closed this matter a long time ago. And uh, we need a report on o o o Commissioner Day. And uh, because we've never seen Commissioner Day as a portfolio committee since uh, 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 we have never seen her. And then the other one was um, we still have confidence in you as a CGE, and we believe Uguti, you are going to work as a team. When you come next time, we want to see you as a team, not as individuals. When you do deployment, you uh, chair and the uh, 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 chair uh, in giving other uh, 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 commissioners a uh, task, let it be done uh, fairly. All commissioners must be given an opportunity to do something. It's true. Nama has observed that. That's why in one of the meetings I was asking you, which is some of the commissioners, when you speak, you speak as a commissioner or you speak uh, as, as a person. If you Dr. Tlaleng, Akuluma, Ukuluma as a Tlaleng as a person or Ukuluma as a commissioner representing ECGE views. So those things are very important for us. So because we, might, we need to separate. I listen to... I, I, I think I, I was listening to another interview with Yakugu Radio Driver, and I was asking myself, would Ukuluma as a, a CGE commissioner or because we are a specialist? 
in, so that's why we need to know. But also, and uche at least niya yengi mbone, uya yeng sende lo guti che mbani skati nizo bengi go pingi mangani, which I appreciate that very much. You know, for me, you uh, are not in ICU, but our, as members of the portfolio committee, we want to see all of you. We want to see all your faces because you have different skills. We want to see all of you. Yabo, so on uh, Commissioner Tlobatla, we know where you are best, where you have strength, we know. We want to see you more. We don't want to see you somewhere in a corner, no. We want to see you more. Abu Mam O'Hara is our veteran. We want to see her more. Abu Babu Botha doing a program. We want to see him more. Remember, Babu Botha also, we even said, a program, Miyako, does it bears good results or what? Do you make any impact now or it's just a program? We, 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 we are following each and every one of you. We want to, to feel you. You know, I want to feel you. 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 I don't know relationships or what, but I want to feel you very, very late at night. But uh, even there, I want to know which, whether you are there uh, 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 is, is your private work or, or you are there representing a CGE. I want to see you more because you see some of the things when you do them, it must not contradict the kind of work you are doing also because I, we, are, we don't want to be confused with Lana or Representer Ini and at the same time as a commissioner or what. We, you don't have to contradict yourself in the public space. Because people know you, uh, you are commissioners, you are standing for, you are representing a CGE, inequalities, the rights of people, and so on and so on. But sometimes when you, you communicate your messages, ne, when they land in our ears, we must not see contradictory things. So we want to know exactly. About Commissioner Sidiko, Mama Zibuko, we want to see you more. Uh, 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 speaking uh, for, for, for the uh, disabled people. We want to see you more. Advocate, Ntabi saying, we want to see you more. Assisting women in their cases and so on, but also assisting even CGE itself. How do you assist women whose cases are being thrown out of the role at courts, by courts, or dismiss uh, 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 with the unfair treatment, uh, we want to see you more. All of you, you are very important to us. So, Tina, we 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 treat you as uh, uh, equally because we respect you, all of you. So, please, when you go back, you have had uh, uh, things that were raised by members. And uh, uh, we're hoping that you are going back to your drawing board and 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 to do right things, so that uh, uh, when you come to us again, you you must not project. Uh, uh, in, in fact, I, I personally hate a situation whereby a bantu baba presented lossy reports and as if uh, 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 things are right. Kandi niaskoshi sa angfunu kuti kandi ni namang. Continuous courses, uh, uh, because when you 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 trust people, you have confidence in people. You 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 uh, uh, you, you respect them. But now, when a person any beggar and scrutinize thoroughly, any beggar at let me look at these people. Gashle gashle, what's going on? We are born with they are frustrated and there is anger. And that thing, and, and, and when it bursts, then it goes over and you don't even send them a send them vote of no confidence to one another. So, said Zamun Nedaman, before Tina Mogwe to the portfolio committee, see, 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 put a vote of no confidence to you. 
So we are giving you the opportunity to go and self-correct and, and, and you come back to us uh, a, 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 a good team like you are expected to work as a collective. Just teach yourselves to work as a collective. Just teach yourself to work as a collective. If you are being undermined by administration, tell us what you are being undermined. We've taken these decisions and the administration, they haven't given us a report and make them account. We'll call them and hear yeah, they must account with why. Even in a never but in a Sabu Babus. Because Nembella, Nembella, no, we can't work that this way. And honorable members, do you want to say something? Masiko? Oh, sorry, sorry, Chairperson. Yes, I think Chair covered. Okay. Yes, Babu Ngobo? Babu Ngobo? Uh, thank you, Chairperson. No, I think that the list of the things that <coughs> they have to do that you've just outlined covered me. Thank you, Chair. Mam Kaula? Mam Kaula? Honorable Deputy Chair. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, I just wanted to respond to the point that you directed to me uh, on why the matter was not closed mm -hmm. and uh, your understanding was it was closed. <clears throat> and also you, there's a constant referral to uh, almost delegated roles to the deputy chairperson vis-a-vis uh, -vis what is actually happening without taking us backwards. I just want the status quo at least to be known by all the members and also maybe commissioners because we haven't had plenary. Um, the matter with Commissioner Smout, my understanding was that it was closed at the time we had this meeting you referred to. Uh, but unfortunately, I found out maybe a month ago that I was also being investigated by a commissioner who was then assigned the role to investigate me uh, by the chairperson, I wasn't informed of that process. I found out only at the end after it was concluded. So I also cannot answer that one chairperson. I just want to talk to uh, the issue of the um, role of the deputy chairperson. I and think it's been it raised- on maladministration, corruption, or what you investigated on what? I think the chairperson can clarify because I don't quite know what the scope was. I have requested explanation on that. She doesn't respond to me specifically on the issue. So I asked for the terms of reference and what was the motivation given that Smout had. Uh, my understanding was that the matter was closed. So I, I, can't, I can't answer on her behalf. But it really was very um, shocking for me that now there was another process that had begun and it was very difficult for me to work at CG under these circumstances. I think the I think the background is that we're supposed to work together as a chair. I think that I ex accept that responsibility. Uh, I appreciate the title, but I think I understand that it's got roles and responsibilities. And I think um, effectively I'm a commissioner without a portfolio as we speak now. I don't have a province. Uh, I'm happy that there's some review to this deployment. I was moved from Eastern Cape. I made a submission not to be moved moved to Western Cape. Now I've been moved from Western Cape to Northern Cape. Northern Cape has another commissioner. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in terms of what I've not. I'm not involved in the deployment of commissioners. I just want to clearly state that that's the office of that's the chairperson herself. Um, Can I interject the, on that one? Yes. Can we get clarity then whose responsibility it is if it's not that of the collective group to make these, these deployments? Thank you, Chair. Hmm. Chairperson, can I finish and then maybe the chairperson can respond to that point? Yeah, we don't understand. Because even not, when we are deployed, it's not a decision of one person. So it's, we don't know which, what is your setup. Maybe you need to clarify us. That's why you have many problems. Because 
Yeah. You, you are a team. Yeah. And if you are a team, uh, uh, there's no need to, to be fighting for the deployment. See, now we just look at your deployment because we want to know. So that as members, when we talk to, uh, we ask Gutila, and uh, 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 we still have an outstanding meeting. Yama commissioners will say, Gauteng, but we are going to meet with you. And you should Ohar. So it's another it's another thing that one, but Nina, no, okay, we'll finish up. Thank you, Honourable. I was going to make the point that the deployment of commissioners is threefold. There's provincial deployment, there's deployment in terms of media, there's also then uh, the engagements that we have one on one, specifically on thematic areas, how we are de deployed, for instance, for specific work that we're mandated to do. Uh, what what is clear is that there is dysfunction in the deployment. That one we cannot argue, because there's various complaints that have been raised by various commissioners at different points. But I think these issues have not been addressed sufficiently. I myself have submitted things for publication. I don't want to get into them here, but they don't get published for whatever reason. They are proved. But the point is, we need to resolve the critical function of deployment. It does lie with the chairperson. I want to answer that maybe. The problem is there need to be principles that are adopted in deployment of commissioners and not necessarily people that may be close or seem to be close. I think the issue of inequality has been dealt with at length here. What we must leave this meeting with as commissioners, there must be a clear framework. What are the principles of deployment? There must be equity in the distribution of deployment in all fronts. And then thirdly, there must be an accountability of how we are deployed. I must be honest, you have asked a very important question. When I speak in these public platforms, who am I speaking as? I must be honest, the last quarter I've never been deployed to speak anywhere for CGE. I think maybe recently I've done one interview on something around GBV or two. And it's usually because people know me and they ask me, not because CGE has deployed me. So there's inequity in that regard. And, but the point is we are not complaining about being deployed to the media. The point is that we want to use every commissioner to the best of their competency and ability so that we can have a fully functioning commission. People have been allocated commissioner roles and responsibilities because they have skills, not because they, are, they have skills. The portfolio committee saw it fit to appoint all of us because there are certain skills and requisite competencies that are required for the functioning of the institution, but also to quell the issue of oppression of gender equality in, the, in this country. So we're fighting in the institution instead of dealing with the programs and the issues on the ground. And I'm finding that we are very frustrated because we want to work, we write plans, we write papers, we have ideas, there's blockages. So we need to not come here and act like we're working together out there. We cannot leave this meeting and act like the way we've been behaving before. The ideas that people come with, they are shelved. The plans that are approved, they are shelved. This is the reality. And I think that we cannot come back here unless we deal with these issues substantively. Being a DC, I don't even have a, uh, what is this thing, a PA. I don't care for a PA. I recently found out I'm supposed to have a PA. This is being shelved as well by management, apparently. I, I don't even know the details. I don't care about those things. All I want to do is to work. But I think that we need to have equality in the way we work and we need to adopt principles as commissioners so that we can work together. We should not be coming here to air our laundry to the to the portfolio committee. But I think people are frustrated. They have been knocking at doors and they find themselves limited in terms of what to do. I think the points made by the portfolio committee, we must take forward. We must take the recommendations. We must respond in two weeks. We must implement our resolutions as plenary. We must come with register and manage ourselves. We must have principles on how we delegate. And I'm offering myself to assist the chairperson. But I do want to say that it's very difficult. I think the background is emails they're not responded to. Our relationship is difficult. I can't lie here. We don't have a very good uh, a working relation in the office, and we need to improve on that. But I think that I cannot say I'm perfect. I may have flaws. I can work on those. But I think the chair and I need to really go back to the drawing board and make sure that for the benefit of the organization, we, ben we, we improve uh, the CGE and the outcomes at CGE. Uh, but I think that I request that this issue of SMART be responded to by the chair. I'm very unhappy with the way she's dealt with it. I have alluded that to her. I've written severally to her. I do not like the fact that a commissioner now was stepped in to investigate me without even informing me. These are the situation I'm working in. 
but I still go forward to, to try and work with the chairperson, to try and be cordial, to not fight with the chair, and to make sure that we do our mandate. So these are the situations I'm dealing with. But I think that going forward, let's try to deal with these issues from a principal perspective and to offer clear programmatic interventions. We've spoken about this at plenary. There's been no change. So I'm, I'm putting it to commissioners, to the chairperson even, and I'm pleading for the sake of children in this country, for the sake of women, we have so much work to do and we're busy fighting non-issues. Please, otherwise we must just close shop. Thank you very much. Um, you know, honorable members, um, I mean, uh, understanding yam, which there's there can be a, 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 a an investigation without you taking a decision in the meeting. That's that's my understanding. You need to sit if you you were to uh, institute an investigation uh uh for one one commissioner even nothing going to you should have reported to us what you are investigating commissioner and tabi saying you know during interviews uh advocate mohale was given an opportunity for an investigation case that was there and then uh, she had to clarify herself in 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 in, in, in the panel so it's like it's switch hand now what you're doing is switch hand uh, because uh, first of all, you have never written to us that you are investigating. Uh, there's a decision here in New York which you are investigating someone because of one to three. <coughs> so I find it very strange. Good country, how do you work? You know what? Please go correct your house. Go correct your house. The way, the manner in which you are dealing with things, it's not acceptable at all. It's not acceptable at all, and, and, and it's very disappointing. And uh, 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 you see, I'm, I, I, I was tempted to to say, Chairperson, I'm respond. So, another can of worms, because somebody else will want to respond, somebody else will want to respond. Can we give you an opportunity to go back to your, your, your plenary and discuss these things and do the right thing and come back and give us a report? What is your opinion? What is your view as commissioners? Chairperson? <clears throat> yeah. Because I'm I'm trying to avoid a situation whereby you'll want to respond to each other now. Can you go and correct yourselves? Mm. And give us a report. There's too many things that you are doing that are not right. Minangas got the office like a chairperson, not deputy chair. You officially one You should be consulting each other. You should be speaking every day on many issues. But da kuna symptom. Yeah, you got the also the administration is 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 is, is, is contributing to some of the challenges that you are having. And na kona si zozala. It's because you don't have a plan for it. That's why even when, if, if, but we must measure your performance, we'll give you zero. And even if you want to measure other commissioners, which are, how, how are they performing? You have a major because there's nothing in Van Nigezayona in the direct, which you must do one, two, three, four, five. Please go back and, and do all the things that we requested you to do. And then we are giving you two weeks. We'll be busy with the a, 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 a appointments the NYTA, but Nina will find time. We are going to invite you again. We've got only two weeks. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. uh, Commissioner Sidiko. I can see what you have forwarded uh, your, your roadmap, uh, 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 your appointment to the CEO. Thank you very much.
uh, we'll look at it uh, because we can't discuss it now, but I think uh, it's how far are you and what is it that you are, you are doing now? I think uh, for now the meeting is adjourned. The meeting is adjourned. Thank <laughs> you.